Welcome to my latest battle report, and ooh, uh, this time we've got a big one. 5,000 points worth of Tau versus 5,000 points worth of Death Guard. So we recently did a battle report with 4,000 points worth of Tau fighting the Necrons, and now we want to find out whether 5,000 points of Tau can withstand the might of the Death Guard. This is a narrative open game uh, with custom custom scoring options. The Death Guard are going to be deployed on this side, and the Tau are going to be deployed on this side. And joining me today is Sultan from Sultan Place. Say hi, Sultan Place. Hi, Sultan Place. Are you looking forward to this one? I am. It's going to be a lot to remember, though. <laughs> yeah. So, well, we did a couple of things. One of the things we did is we've both got 15 CP to start off with. Yeah. Keeps it simple. And only one Relic and Warlord trait. Yes. Because then if we maxed out and there were six Warlord traits, and so it just gets... It could just suddenly the balance could go whoosh. Yeah, exactly. Way, yeah. Uh, but you can pay for upgrades on guns and things with points. Which yeah, have I've you done, done any of that? Those, yeah. yeah, I've done two of them and I've got a Relic and Warlord. So we're, we're pretty matched. Yeah. And also I took a lot of the shenanigans out of the Death Guard army. So there's not a lot of psychers. There's not. I'm trying to keep it simple, otherwise my brain will melt. Is your brain going to melt? Maybe. There's a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think 5,000 points worth of tower will be able to withstand the end of all things? I think your minus one damage is going to be incredibly strong. Yep. Um, however, tower guns are big. So tower, we'll see. They are very big. And do you know what big guns never do? Tire. Boom. Ah, I like it. <laughs> so what we've decided to do is, this is a massive war of attrition. And we're going to score these objectives at the very end of the game. This is the Tau objective. It's worth two points to you or me. If I take it, I get two. If you hold it, you get two. You put it right in the corner. Yes. And I put mine right in the corner. <laughs> want to be close to each other, so the you? home objectives are going to be worth two. But what we're really, because you don't want your home to be overrun. You don't want your back lines to fall. It would it would cost a lot of points. It would cost a lot of technical, tactical. What am I looking for? It's bad. It's bad. <laughs> yes. But what we're really fighting over is this abandoned missile silo yes. on the edge of Tau space. Left by some dark angels. Left perhaps. by some dark angels. <laughs> which they're scared them. It's a relic from the dark age of technology sort of left here. Yeah, or, yeah. Or, or the great crusade. And this is a missile silo. And that's a missile silo. And that's worth one point. And that's worth one point. Basically, anyone in there, if 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 you control that, you get a point. You control that, you get a point. So essentially, there's only four points worth of objectives on the table to score at the end of the game. Uh, six. What? Two, four, six. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> so that's that's what's happening there. Um, we're scoring everything at the end of the game, and also as well as holding on to your home field advantage, your home field objective is very important. Keeping your warlord alive is also very important. So if the warlord dies at the end of the game, we're, you're going to roll d3. You kill my warlord and you roll a 1, it means my Warlord wasn't that important to the overall fight. And I kill your Warlord and I roll a 6 yeah. and I get the 3 points. That means losing your Warlord. Do you know what I mean? I like yeah, that. Yeah, I like mean, that. I know who your Warlord is and it's going to be difficult. It's a Demon Primark winners. It's Mortarian. <laughs> but that means you can target him, you can shoot him all game. Yeah, and so there's a toddler over there with 3 big guns on his head. So I'm going to definitely be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Mortarian could go down quite easily. But then I could hold more objectives and then you low roll low on we don't know which way it's going to go until the very end mm. is what i want to say there's some hills there's some line of sight blocking terrain there's some minuses to shoot through there's some light cover the battle mat is from urbanmats.com all the rest of the trainers games workshop or stuff i made i think um i mentioned you Salt and plays youtube channel go and check that shizzle out and as ever, if you'd like to support me or like to get loads of more videos from me, then consider becoming a channel member. It is a great way to support me. Now let's go and have a look at these armies. Right, starting off with the armies, I'm going to show you Mortarion first because he doesn't fit on the table with all the other stuff. <laughs> I've given him the Warlord trait. Basically, the way it works, Sultan, is within nine inches of him, contagion range, you can't re-roll any hits or any wounds. Well, that's that's really strong versus my army. Not, but that's only nine inches, and it's own, and it doesn't matter if you're shooting at him or anything else. It just he turns off re-rolls within nine inches with one mm. Warlord trait, and within three inches, he turns off aura effects. As well, and then he's got revoltingly resilient and living plague, and so he's a demon Primarch. Him. Yeah, you can try and stay away from him. I'd like to. He's got spells, curse of the leper, uh, the gift one, and I'll show you the spells as they come up. Now, interestingly enough, 
Even though it's 5,000 points. This is bang on 5,000 points with Mortarion. Well I'm, done. I'm an, I know. I'm quite <laughs> prou proud of myself. Mortarion's got the Warlord trait to turn off stuffs. And I gave Fluffy his normal relic, the Warp Insect Hive. And that's my relic and Warlord trait. That means he can re-roll hits and re-roll wounds. Uh, Fluffy's got Miasma of Pestilence. Steve, my other Demon Prince with wings, has got Putrescent vitality and then i've got a lord of contagion and a lord of virulence in the middle now the way it's going to work is to the, the both of the demon princes are going to rock forward with a unit of blight lord terminators each there's five and five okay they're both going to come up with them rock at the table. um one of the the lord of contagions is going to deep strike somewhere with the um Death Shroud Terminators? Scythe guys. Yes, the Death Scythe Shroud, guys. Yeah. Um, and the Lord of Virulence is going to go rocking forward with 10 Terminators. And I gave him the Acidic Malady upgrade to his his uh, Plague Spitty thing there. So he can... It's an extra strength and extra AP. Feral Blightspawn. Feral Blightspawn is a fight first, fight last thing, which isn't going to come up because it's Tau. But I, did <laughs> I don't want to be fighting anyway. Exactly. <laughs> but I did upgrade his one to the Viscous Death, which means his D6 Spurter, I can re-roll the D6. Is this the one you always call the Foul Gush? The Foul Gush, which yes. Which is horrible. So it's strength 8, it's lots of minuses, and it's a Foul Gush. So I've got him rocking along as well. Um, and I did think about putting Apothecaries in it and Bell Boys and, and Foul Blight Spawns. But oh, it yeah. just... It just makes things very complicated. You say you didn't bring the bell of the end of all things. I didn't bring the bell end of upsetting. all things, yeah. no. Uh, it's actually two detachments here. There's the It's a battalion and the one with all the fast in it. So yeah, that's how the uh, HQs are going to go rocking up. Demon Prince is protected by Blight Lord Terminators. And the other Lords protected by Blight Lord Terminators or Death Shroud Terminators. I've got in the fast lot, unit of five spawn. Unit of Crawlers. Six drones. In match play, you can't take this the rule of three. But this isn't match play. So <laughs> I've got six. And two have got their heavy blight launchers. Three are spurty. There's three tanks. There's two rhinos. There's two dreadnoughts. One with Laz Hellbrute, sorry. One with Laz, one with Melters. There's 20 poxwalkers. And there are many plague marines. <laughs> <laughs> and all the plague marines have all the upgrades. Uh, there's basically plasma in all of them, blight launches in all of them, some of the sergeants of fists, some uh, flails of corruption are in there. It's what you see is what you get on the plague marines and they all have obsec the uh, poxwalkers all have obsec the terminators all have obsec so all I need to do is have a couple of these guys left at the end of the game swarming across the objectives and I have got a lot of swarm and demon Primarch Mortarian. Let's go and have a look at the Tau. And this is 5,000 points of Tau, and most of this army is gloriously painted by Den of Imagination Painting Studios. They also did the bases. But Den being Den uh, gave a Sultan the recipe for all the glorious stuff that has been painted here, and you've added to them like. Um, like yeah, Commander Storm and... Shadow, Commander Sunstrike, um, the the toddler, the toddler. Yeah, the I all those things. Yeah, yeah. So five thousand points of Tau. You stick him a Sunstrike again because that's what the set the Summon Lightning do. Farsight Enclave. Farsight yes. Enclave. You always mess those names up, and Brilliant. I don't mind it. <laughs> so within nine inches, you get count as a Marker Light, and Marker Light's a plus one to hit. Yes. And you re-roll a wound all the re time. Re-roll a wound all the time. Nice. Yes. Okay, would you like to talk us through what you've got here? Yeah, so three detachments. We've got a super heavy auxiliary, naturally, yes. uh, for the town to come a along. A thousand points of big guns. He's a thousand points all by himself, but that's still a lot for 4k outside of him, right? You know what? Last <laughs> time I didn't really pick on him very much. This time I might try and... Oh, I'm I might some drones next to him. <laughs> crack that nugget. Do drones work on that? Is that a thing? The saving protocols is a thing, yeah. A little drone floating over that. It's a clever drone. That sounds <laughs> cheesy. Okay, right, next. What else? Uh, so yeah, we've got a patrol attachment, a battalion attachment. It doesn't matter who's in what, but it's all it's all good. It's 5,000 points on the money, which I'm really pleased really? with. Really? Yes. Both of on. us? Yeah, I tried oh, hard for fist, that. Fist bump. Yes. yes. Um, so what we've got, Warlord, who's having both the Warlord trait and the relic for this yes. army, is Commander Sunstrike. He's got three plasma guns and one shield generator. One of the plasma guns I pay to upgrade to become the Nova Surge plasma rifle, which goes straight through invulnerable saves. Brilliant. Yes, love it. And then we've got um, the Warlord trait Precision of the Hunter. He rolls all hits and wounds. And his relic 
is the Bagel Hunter's Plate. So he's really tough to kill. He's got two up armor save and a five up shrug. And he's got two little shield drones with him. Yeah, unkillable Sunstrike again. Sunstrike don't die. But he's worth D3 to me. Yes. He has a mark on his head. Okay. Yes. Cool. Next. Uh, second in command, Command yes. Storm Shadow. Yes. She has three fusion. One is the alternating fusion blaster, which always does D6 plus two damage at any range and can go through people like a beam weapon. Nice. Um, and then she also has. Um, no, nothing, uh, shield generator. But other than that, nothing else because I haven't given her. But you actually gave her a shield generator this time. Yes, yeah. And With drones, drones as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because otherwise she's quite. So they're both pimp, right? Uh, yeah. We have a card of fireblade. Card of fireblade. Thank yeah. you. Good memory. Um, yeah. So he gives um, extra hits to fire warriors, yes. of which we have forty. Forty fire warriors. Yeah, lots of bodies on the ground. Lovely. Uh, moving on to the crisis suits, which are easily my favourite units. We've got a big five-man blob of triple plasma shield generator. And uh, Iridium suit. Is that the prices. 470 point unit yeah. of Doom? Yeah, we also again. have another 470 point unit of Doom, but with oh. missiles. Oh. However, your inherent army trait of minus one damage is going to nerf that a lot. But Why? you know, it's six shots, so there's two damage. Is it? But it's six shots each, there's just going to be horde killing, hopefully. Six shots each at two damage each, which will become one damage each, but it's still a lot it's of damage. It's still minus two, it's all this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So it's still strong as hell. Yeah. Um, we've got cyclic iron blasters, three of them. They're Triple all... cyclic and a shield. And they shoot like 18 shots each or something. They do, but again, their upgrade is two damage, which I just won't be using. Yeah. So that's all good. But yeah, it's working they already. They still get tons of shots. Then we've got fusion blaster crisis bodyguards. The only okay. difference here is they don't have shield generators. Can they I... have triple fusion. They don't have shield generators. So if bodyguards can protect characters, okay. you know, stop you shooting at characters when they're nearby, even if there's only one of them. But um, they don't get four slots, they only get three. So you can have right. triple guns or two guns and a shield or whatever. So I've gone triple guns because they're just there to defend characters. It sounds anyway. like you thought about it. Yeah, they're going with Storm Shadow. So you've got crisis suits, crisis suits, crisis suits. Can I interest you in more crisis suits with your crisis suits? I would like some burst cannon crisis suits, actually. That, okay, yeah. right, sure. Maybe some hazard suits, that'd be fun. Yeah. Anyway, we've got three broadsides at the back. Yes. Um, I'm not going to cover all the drones. With all there, the stabilisation optics and all yes, that. Yes, heavy rail rifles and smart missile systems. We've got an ion tide, big ion gun. Yes. And then he's got his twin plasma. And then we've got a normal riptide with the heavy burst cannon and smart missile systems. Yeah. We've got a ghost keel. Back here with the cyclic arm raker and some burst cannons and flare launchers and stuff you like that. You can't shoot because of his drone. You just can't target him there over eighteen or twenty. Uh, eighteen or inches away, he acts like a character. He yeah. just can't be targeted at all. Yeah, and he'll be zipping around. He's got concealed deployment as well. Yeah, um, as have the little eggmen's, the stealth yeah. suits. You so we've got see. a six-man squad with two fusion and a three-man squad with one fusion because I couldn't put a nine-man squad in. Eggmen, eggmen's hammerhead with Ham the gun of doom. What's the gun of doom? Uh, it's like strength 16, ignores that, invuns. Yeah. That ignores invuns? Does more wounds, yeah. Is that a standard thing on... Yeah, that's on the normal railgun. The normal railgun just yeah. ignores invuns? Yes, yeah. That's a dead But it gets target. one shot. That's one shot. Do one not shot. miss a chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Yo. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. He's, so that's he's a dead that. mortarian. Well, maybe, maybe. <laughs> You've got a shrug. And then... Uh, big lad. Three massive guns. One essentially huge melter gun. And then an ion gun. So and what are, loads of small arms. So 15 CP to play with, lots and lots of guns and offensive output versus the unstoppable, immovable, disgustingly resilient tide of the Death Guard. I think it's a good counter. You've brought some good tough stuff to fight against these guns. Yeah, but you can't just sit back on your objective and me and my objective because then that will just be two points each. It's gonna We're going to have to come towards the middle at some point. Yeah. And um, my army is basically built around going forward. Yeah. And your army is built around... Uh, moving really quick, actually. Yeah. And firepower. And firepower. It's going to be hard to find places to... Well, in the first couple of turns, this board is going to be thick with murder. Double C. Towards yeah. the end of the game, though, spaces will open up for some tactical place. Let's go on to deployment. Right, Sultan's just finishing up his deployment because it was at this point we realised just how much shizzle we have brought to this. <laughs> oh. I've kept my Lord of Contagion and a unit of Blight Lord Terminators in reserve and you've kept both of your five-man squads of... Crisis suits. Crisis suits, the big yeah. five-man squads of crisis suits. Down this end, next to my home objective, I've put 40 fearless plague zombies and some tanks and things and some drones. And essentially you can see Trank... Tank, tank spread out across the line. Mortarian and the 10 Terminators with the Lord of Contagion right in the middle. I mean, they're only going forward. There's some spawn down there as well because I didn't know where to put them. I put a lot of troops here because this objective is worth one point. It's the closest one to me. In the same way that Sultan put a lot of troops there because that is a one point objective that's really close to him mm. along with the... Um, 
Hammer, yeah, hammerhead. Yeah. Hammerhead staring straight at Mortarion and all the rail guns and all the nasty things. But yeah, uh, there's a, there's a plan. <laughs> there, there there is a plan to shoot over that hill and destroy Demon Primarch, Mortarion. Down this flank, it gets a bit more interesting because there's five Terminators, five Terminators, Demon Prince, Demon Prince. There's fourteen Plague Marines and the pla- Foul Blight spawn in there. There's dr- there's lots of hate coming this way, Sultan. Mm. Because that is your two-point objective over there. And guarding it is a ghost kill, some egg men, some more troops. and The Iron Tide. The Iron Tide. And as I mentioned, you have got ten crisis suits that are going to drop in from reserve. The big boy is going to have free reign throughout this entire battle. Now, going second is powerful because that means you have the last move of the game to push on to the objectives and score. Mm. But going first at 5,000 points is also powerful because it's 5,000 points. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's roll off to see who gets to choose whether they... I haven't got a dice. Oh. I've got a dice. After you. You rolled five. a five. I rolled a five. Oh, oh here it goes again. again One, One. Four. Yeah, you so I can choose whether to go first or second. I have to go first because I need to get my Asthma of Pestilence off on Mortarian. So the fight... For the abandoned missile, Silo begins with Death Guard, turn one. Here we are after the end of all things, movement phase, basically lots of advancing and some psychic powers. I managed to put putrescent vitality on this unit here. Steve's got putrescent, Fluffy's got uh, miasma of pestilence, and Mortarian's got miasma of pestilence, curse of the leper and gift of contagion. And a failed miasma of pestilence even with a reroll. It's unfortunate start. So he won't be minus one to hit. And there's your tank lining him up over there. But along the middle, many advancing with Terminators and with drones and with Plague Marines. And I'm spreading out my castle down here. But I have lined up Tonk and Drone and Tonks and more drones to try and pick on the juiciest targets that we can. We're going to start over here with this tank. Firing everything at the hammerhead that ignores invulnerable saves. And I'm spending a CP on that thing that makes the mortar damage 3 instead of damage 2. Disgusting force. That's the one. And it's got one shot, so I'm spending another CP to get that up to 3 shots. And it hits on 3s and wounds on that. 5 up save. And that's 3 damage. And then it's going to do mortal wounds to stuff around it. And when I said it does mortal wounds on all the things around it, it does it if you manage to roll a 4. Which I didn't manage to do. <laughs> so two entropy cannons coming into the tank. And one of them hits. And it wounds. And that is AP minus four, my friend. So I'm going to do safety protocols, one command point, and take away a drone. So that was a remarkably unsuccessful shooting phase so far. But now we're going to go on to Operation Take Down the Big Boy. Because all the other guns are lined up to hit the big boy, the Taunar. Now this won't be successful either. I won't be able to kill it all in one turn. But I'll certainly be able to try. Mm. Let's try and tickle it. Mind you, see, the thing is, I'm not sure if this is the best use of my firepower because then everything else in your army will be... Nah, stop it. Take out the big boy. Three is to hit. This is the heavy blight launcher from the drone over here. It's strength six, so I need fives to wound. And I get a wound. It is a plague weapon. I get two wounds. Um, you're going to need to make your five from vulnerable saves, sir. Well, is it minus three? Yeah. Okay. And that's two damage. Tanar's got 28 wounds left. This drone is going to rinse and repeat, hitting on threes and wounding on fives. And that is two more five up saves on. And then you make both of the saves. Okay, we're going to do the tank on it. Here's the mortar, which fires once and hits and doesn't wound. Here's the entropy cannons, which one of them hits and wounds. Five plus and vulnerable save. And you make the save stop. (laughs) <laughs> Doing that, we're across to the Blight Haulers. Now, uh, two of them are in multi melter range, one of them isn't. But all three missiles can slam into the town arc. Here's the missiles. If they hit and only one of them hits and it doesn't wound, here's the two multi melters in range. Both of them hit and both of them wound. Make one fail one. And d6 damage, which is two damage, which I can't re roll because I've already spent a CP re roll in the shooting phase. We're on to. We've done, have we done this tank? You did that one, you're onto this one, I think. Okay, we're on to tank number three. Here's the entropy cannons. Both of them hit. There we go. Both of them wound. 
Make one fair one. D3 plus three damage for five damage. Mortar fires five times this time and hits three times and wounds. Plague weapon wounds twice. Four up saves. And that's another two damage. Round after round go into this 30 wound monstrosity. It's still on 19 wounds left, which means it isn't even bracketed. Now this dreadnought Hellbrew over here with his Laz cannons going to fire in. He hits on threes and re-rolls ones because I made sure he was close to a demon prince. So it hits twice. Hits once, sorry. Wounds once. And you may have failed that save. Here's I'm it. I'm gonna. Is, there's another is, dreadnought to fire, isn't there? Uh, that one can't reach you because it's got a monk. I'm gonna point then. Okay. No. No. D6 damage. Two damage. And yeah, this hell brute can't actually fire at it because it's not in range. He has to fire at that riptide over there, which means it's going through the trees. So I'm hitting you on fours, and I'm wounding a riptide on a three, and that's a five plus a run of a save on a riptide which you fail, and that's only one damage. It's not a critical shot. Couple more guns left to fire. There's Plague Spitter on this drone, which advanced, is in range of the Townar, so it'll hit them with the spitty stuff for that number of hits. And the Plague Spitter will wound on fives and reroll ones. Acid drenches the Townar. It's five more, four up saves. And you fail four of them. Yeah. Which means finally I've bracketed the beast. And the last gun will be this Spurty McSpurt face. I've spent a CP on Overwhelming Generosity, which gets the range of the spitters out long enough so I can land a blow for eight times, eight shots, eight hits. And the plague also wounds on fives, re-rolling ones. And that CP only did two more. And doesn't actually damaged the town are and that is the end of my shooting face everything firing at that almost everything firing at it and it's down to 13 wounds remaining it's not dead it's not out of the fight yet i've tickled the riptide i've tickled the hammerhead but more importantly i've given the tau a lot of targets to shoot at by just running madly down towards their lines. So let's find out how the Sept of the Summer Lightning respond in Tau, turn one. So in the Tau movement phase, marker lights fired out across the line. Wherever you see one of these red markers is a marker light three on Mortara in there. And uh, the XV-88s, they feel strong. They've jumped up, jumped over into a commanding position right on the nuclear bastion already. Sunstrike is staying somewhat calm back there. Uh, rallying the troops but as well as marker lights fired out um you spent ai something so yeah backup ai one cp choose any tau unit and treat it as full bracket so he's on full bracket so he'll still be hitting on threes the tau now you've overcharged the guns on both of the riptides yes there's some movement in the middle to deal with the drones and a lot of movement around this flank because there's a lot of hate running down towards the Riptide, the Ghost Kills, and the Stealth Suits as well. So yeah. Marker Light's fired out on the Terminators, onto the uh, Rhino, and lining up as many fusion shots as you can. What's your plan this turn, Sultan? What are the targets? So I'd like to kill Mortarion. Yes. Naturally. Yes. And I'd like to blunt this advance. If I can get rid of these Terminators, I know the Demon Prince will probably still be there, but if I can get rid of the Terminators and maybe pop the Rhinos, right. then there's an overwhelming amount of small arms fire that could shred a few Plague Marines, and then I'm in a much better position for turn two. Yes. And then the rest of the shots, the rest of the shots is Operation Kill Mortarian, and then fire out other things. Where would you like to start the shooting phase, sir? Well, the Hammerhead's only firing at one guy. Okay. So we should start there. Okay. Okay. You're going to use a marker light? I'm going to spend the You have to. You have to. Yes. And then he will hit on threes. With the marker light, the rail cannon will hit on a three. It hits. It hits. It's strength high. 16. It'll woo 16. Yeah. It I'll me. double check. It might be 14. It can't be 16. <laughs> it's strength 14. Yes. Okay. So, so wounds threes. on a three. Three. With a reroll because yes. it's on enclaves. Uh, it doesn't wound. Oh, it so does wound. I don't get a save. No. And it, this is... D6. I, I've not used one of these in a long it's time. It's D3 plus 6. And three mortal wounds. And three mortal wounds. So, so it's 6 plus 7, 8 plus the three mortal wounds. It's 11. Is He's revoltingly resilient. You're good at these. He does shrug on fives. Um, he only shrugs three. 
Mortarion's on 10 wounds remaining. The Seeker Missile flashed past its head. Now we have the Accelerator Burst Cannons, which will hit on threes. And wound on fives, round after round, thumping into Mortarion there, only causing two wounds. And a make both of the saves. Yeah. Next up, the XV-88 broadsides, point-blank range into Mortarion with their rail cannons, hitting on threes, using that marker light hit there, and wounding on threes. But at least... Single reroll. Nope, because you're within nine-inch oh. range, so he turns off your reroll. So in the end, there are three wounds that come in at Mortarion. And at least I get four plus and vulnerable saves against these. Yes. I only make one. So now's the time for a CP, because yes. they're rail cannons. It doesn't help me. <laughs> so uh, D3 plus three and a mortal wound in addition, because they wounded. Okay. So six plus another six is 12. 12. And then, sorry, it's three mortal wounds, because it's just the wound. Right. Yeah. So even before their SMS comes in, Mortari needs to shrug this 15 times. And... He's alive on one wound remaining. <laughs> so he's wounded, he's reeling, and then a swarm of smart missile systems come thumping into him on threes. And the missiles are wound on fives. Anti-horde, anti-infantry. I need to make a lot of fours. Can I touch your dice? Uh... <laughs> I'm touching your dice. Fours. And then Five. he needs to make this many. Five up saves. And Mortarion is gone. You've sunk my battleship. And he blows up. But um, he doesn't hurt Nurgle units. He only hurts enemy units within six. How close are your XP 88? How to measure. Mortarion's gone. The explosion takes out one of the drones. My warlord is down. That will be D3 points for Sultan at the end of the game. But if I swarm this battle grid and take as many objectives as possible and kill this character down here, I'm saying... There is still a chance. Plus, it took you a lot of guns just to take down that one target. Having said that, though, the Tau have many guns left. So the cyclic iron blasters from that crisis suit there were lining up to take on Mortarion, but he's gone. So instead, all the shots are coming into the spawn here, and you are overcharging. Yeah, because these guys don't get disgustingly resilient, right? No. So two damage does make a difference. So he's a hit on fours, rerolling ones, and ones are mortal wounds to me. Reroll of ones because Sunstrike is there and you don't want any and no you ones. don't get any. And the Cyclic Iron Blasters will wound on threes. With one reroll. The AP of the weapon punches straight through the spawn. They're not upgraded spawn. So that kills one and another and another and another and another. And you wipe out the entire squad of Chaos Spawn with one volley of firepower. Next to the Crisis team. Commander Sunstrike, picking on this drone, firing in with his plasma. That's the special ignore in burn plasma. Okay. Okay. He hits on twos, re-rolling yeah. everything if he needs to. Okay. And he'll wound on uh, threes, threes re-rolling if he needs to. Okay. So he misses with that one. But these... You get saves against these. Five up and burns. And I make one. And it would do three damage, but because of Death Guard, yeah. two damage. The drone's on seven wounds remaining. After this drone got lit up, there were some Tau fire warriors and ancillary fire in the back that could hit this drone and take it down to three wounds remaining. So drones are getting lit up. And then on this side of the fortress, well, the fusion team of crisis suits are in far sight range, so they don't need to use the uh, marker light on this drone, which mm. is also going to get lit up. Instead, you're firing the riptide in it. And here's the heavy burst cannon. Threes. Which will wound on fives. It's a horde killing gun. One reroll. Uh, so another save to make. This AP is minus two. two. So I fail both of them. Fail that as well. It would be two damage a time, but one damage a time because Death Guard. Then the SMS came in from the Riptide, and the drone is down to five wounds remaining. Now the Crisis team with all the fusion, point bank range, hitting on threes into the drone and wounding on threes. And that's a lot of wounds. I need five invulnerable saves, and I only make one of them. Uh, D6 plus two, that drone is gone, and it doesn't blow up. And that is another target taken out by the firepower of the Tau. 
So it's been a bloodbath down the right side of the battle grid. The spawn dying, Mortarian dying, drones taking hits, Sultan forgetting to roll 16 shots with the Riptide into yeah, the drone. Yeah, I had an eye on in my head instead of things. Same dam like different damage. We did it all right, but I just fired too few shots. Yeah, well, you killed the drone anyway. Yeah. You're going to get to the town, are the piece de la resistance at the end of the turn. Yes. But your last bit of trouble that you need to deal with is this push on the flank on the left. So the Iron Tide, it's overcharged its guns and it's cooking them to get up to four damage, firing into the Terminators because everything that you manage to get through will kill a Terminator. Yeah. So Using the Marker Light? Yes, have to, wherever I choose, it's the first thing that fires, use oh, the Marker okay. Light. Right. So Three. threes, yes. uh, one's hurt me, so I'm going to command point one of those because I haven't used a command point yet. Okay. So it still misses, but it doesn't hurt me this time. So you take a, you take a take wound. A wound. So it means he's down to 12. Yes. Yeah. Uh, winning on threes. Strength nine. Yeah, yes. toughness five. Well, well toughness six right now because of putrescent vitality. Yes. So these are four damage, which becomes three damage. Yeah, so these are five in runs for you to make. But I have minus one thing. So before up and runs, basically every failed save will kill a Blightlord Terminator. Nurgle, hear my prayer. I've already used the command CP to try and keep Mortarian alive. And in the end, three of them fall. The Reptile also has two plasmas. And one of them hits. On a three. And wounds. Nice. Four up and button. And that will put one down to one wound remaining. That leaves two Terminators remaining, which can no longer shield my Demon Prince. And still a lot of firepower about to come this way. First, however, the Ghost Kill in the back is going to overcharge its Iron Raker and still pound into the Terminators. Hitting on fours, though. Yeah. Threes. Winning on threes. So it's three wounds. Four up and vulnerable saves. Minus two, yeah. Okay, how much damage? Three. So that kills that guy, puts that down to just one wound remaining. Ooh. The burst cannons from the ghost kill are out of range, but then there is a three-man squad of stealth suits here. They're going to put the remaining burst cannons into the one wound terminator, and the fusion in that squad is going into the rhino. They're using the marker light to hit the rhino because they're beyond nine. The closer team, if they choose to shoot the rhino as well, they are within nine, so they can use Farsight's buff or Commander Sunstrike's buff. Burst cannons go bzzz. Bzzz. Bzzz from the stealth suits with all the burst cannons. I'm toughness six right now though, so you need five to wound. Uh, and four. it is AP dash. I'm gonna roll one of them because I'd rather Terminator die than the Terminator than the Rhino. Okay, but I do get two up saves. Yes. It doesn't help uh. me, dead Terminator. The Terminators are evaporated. Now one shot fusion into the Rhino, which nope. misses. <laughs> so the six man team, two fusions into this one here. Yeah. Um, I think I want to pop smoke. I would understand that. Because you're on threes, that'll get you back to fours. Yeah. But all the burst cannons, you're going to shoot at my Demon Prince. Yes, this one's Steve, isn't it? That one's Steve. Poor yeah. Steve. Poor Steve. Fusions firing through the smoke screen, hitting on fours. And one of them hits, wounds on a three. And I don't get a save to this. Which is D6 plus two at this range. For and that's eight. a critical hit. That Rhino's down to two wounds remaining. And now we have lots of burst cannon shots coming into my Demon Prince. Browns come flying in, hitting my Demon Prince on fours. Wounding on fives. No AP, and that's a lot of wounds. Is and that one six? rerolled, because I didn't use it on the melter. That's six. That's six. Six threat saves on Steve. Wow. wow. Steve takes four wounds. He's half dead but you don't want to poke a demon prince it gets them angry and they might poke back at you you know at this stage so when it just occurred to me that if i'd have only moved him forward like half an inch further forward next to that rhino you wouldn't have been able to light him up well you did have a big five-man squad of ten thousand year old terminators next to him so i don't blame you no okay yeah, yeah. and i also wanted him to be so he could do the thing with the re-roll with the hell brute and it, it, i think he actually did some damage so it's all good so you've got some fire warriors over there and they're definitely not picking on steve right they are 100 percent picking on steve <laughs> right are you spending any cp on picking on steve yeah relentless fusillade so what it does is increases the ap by one so minus two brilliant and it also gets you a demon save i believe and uh, they get to do double number of attacks no matter what range they're at. So, so 20 shots. 20 shots. They're rerolling ones because of the fire blade back here. And Brilliant. six is to hit explode. Oh, no. So hopefully you roll lots of ones and threes. Not you twos. You just want twos and threes, yeah. No, no, just why? Because you can re reroll the ones. Right. And, and then, then the sixes count as two hits. Yeah, I'll count them in a second. 
Additional hits scored, fives to wound at minus two. It's oh, probably worth mentioning that you're doing K on. I don't think I mentioned K on. Uh, yeah, I, I always like K on. It's so just easier to remember. There's a four in there. Your shots are going to get four, more sorry. brutal towards the end. So five plus in vulnerable saves, Good four luck. wounds remaining. Steve gets taken out. Just. As the town firepower pounds the left flank, the town are finally opens up its guns. Sultan's declared where he's shooting all over the place. Which one are we going with first? So we're going to use this big fusion cannon on the side here into this rhino. Okay, brilliant. Let's start there. Threes to hit. You hit all the times. Brilliant. Strength uh, eight, so threes. And I'll do the single re-roll, get out of the way. So all those wounds. I don't think I get a save. It's a melter gun. Yeah. No saves, lots of damage, d6 a time. That is a dead rhino, which doesn't blow up. And inside there are eight, eight fire warriors. Well, not fire warriors, <laughs> my <rings>. brain, plague <laughs> rings. And on ones, one of them will fall when they disembark. The rhino goes and all of a sudden there's plague rings crawling right in front of the tower lines. Now we're doing the big ion cannon. Yes. And you're hitting a two wound rhino. Yeah, there's very little else. <laughs> you want to crack it open? I do, yeah. So threes. Fours, actually, because of the smoke, but I yep. don't think it will help me. So this is uh, threes to wound now. With that, uh, have you already used the reroll? AP minus three, I think. E minus two. Minus two. I need five. So there's a chance. I'm Good saying luck. there's a chance. There isn't a chance. Dead rhino. Does this one blow up? This will hurt my guys if this one blows up. It doesn't blow up. Oh, but there's seven inside this one. This one doesn't have an extra character in it. And they manage to stop, drop, and roll, and get out without injury. More plague marines appear in front of the town. Now the pulse ordnance drivers, those massive cannons of doom on top, are firing all the way across the battle grid down into this plague burst crawler over here. Hitting on four, sir. Uh, threes. Cause threes. Oh yeah, yeah. town eye. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you shoot better. Oh shoot no. Better. And wounding on four, uh, those, threes yeah. or something. Strength ten, so it was threes to wound. I need five up in saves. Uh, I make none of them. How much damage? That's 20. What do you mean it's 20 Five damage? damage shot, yeah. What? It's a thousand point model, Winters. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's gone. Okay, you killed it. And then you were going to do all the small arms fire because there's SMS and burst cannons and many, many, many guns in its chest there. Yes. And they're going to come raining down into the Terminators. And because of cover and things, I'll have a two up save. So we rolled off camera, a hailstorm of small arms fire came raining down into these Terminators and only wounded one of them once. But that wasn't the end of the shooting phase. The second unit of Tau fire warriors here in the Cadre Fireblade still hadn't fired, as well as a couple of gun drones. And so rain and firepower came smashing into this unit down here. And I lost five of the Plague Marines that came out of the Rhino, ones on one wound remaining. Mm. I'm going to need a morale test on that squad. And they hold. And at end of turn one for the tower, they've wiped out almost a thousand points worth of my army, including demon princes, terminators, tanks, all the spawn, a couple of drones. But this turn, in Death Guard, turn two, I should be able to make some of these charges. And also, this big giant monster of doom is down to... 13 wounds. 13 wounds left, my lucky number. My unlucky number. So maybe I'll be able to take it out. In Death Guard, turn two. In the Death Guard movement phase, this mob down here holding on to my backfield objective, well, they're chilling. They stayed still. They've got firepower across the battlefield and they know their task. Up in the middle, though, there's only one, two squads that advanced. This squad here moving forward below the bastion and this squad advancing into the bastion. But in the middle, I have a drone. I have a drone. I have some Terminators that mean to shoot do some damage, make some charges. Potentially this drone down here, which hopped up and over, that could make a charge as well. And around here, next to Steve, is lots and lots and lots of guns that are gonna go into the towner. And the two units of Plague Marines, or what remains of them, are gonna start pressuring the backfield objective of the tower. I haven't deep struck, my uh, Blight Lord Terminators in yet, sorry, the Death Shroud Terminators in yet, because I'm aware that there is 10 crisis suits that can land anywhere on the table, and I've left them big gaps behind, because as far as I'm concerned, the objective is to take, hold on to mine, take the centre, 
and try and find Sunstrike at some point and make him pay. Psychic wise, I've got Miasma left. <laughs> so I might as well put Miasma on those Terminators and this time I actually pass. So let's start by trying to take the Towner out with this fight. You took about a thousand points off of me last turn. Let's try and take this thousand point suit <laughs> off of you this turn. The Crawlers, three Melters coming in hot, hitting on threes and wounding on fours and they fail to wound. Here come the missiles. And only one of them hits, and that fails to wound as well. The electronic dampening system with the town are bending shots around it, but the Hellbrute, he's got a multi-melter and he manages to hit, but doesn't wound. Okay, Laz Cannon Hellbrute. Reroll ones, because Steve's right there, and it is core. Cool. This will wound on threes, and finally I manage to get some wounds through on the town R. Five up invulnerable saves. Make you one make one on. of them. And this is D6 damage. It's got 13 wounds left. And I'm going to command point that, obviously. And that's a critical hit. Excellent it knocks it point. all the way down to seven wounds remaining. Let's fire this shooty plague drone with its heavy blight launcher in it as well. On threes. Everything hits. But this needs fives to wound. At least I re-roll the ones. Forcing two saves. Two five-up saves. Make one fair one. I am going to spend safety protocols here and get rid of one of these shielded missile drones. Okay, you can only do that once though, right? Yes, yeah, but so it's the big guy. Okay, next up, tank number one. Let's fire the mortar. Let's turn it into a damage three mortar with a CP. And let's spend another CP. You just, Damn it, I, yeah, I've already sorry. done that. It, so it hits. It hits though. Then it, it wounds though. Fire don't save. Oh. Okay, that's three damage. How many is it on left? Four. So one of these entropy cannons, because it's D3 plus three damage, one of them gets through, dead towner. When it blows up, is it a really big explosion? Uh, yeah. <laughs> they both miss. I've got spurty drone down here, spurty but it's drone. plague spurters. Acid, five rounds of acid, splashes over the towner and wounds on fives, re-rolling ones, and those are three, four up saves. It takes another two wounds. It's got two wounds remaining, so let's kill it with the humble Plague Marines. The bolt guns will hit you on threes, and sixes auto wound with Sigil of Decay. The rest will wound on sixes. So the humble bolt gun gets through three times. It only has a three up save. Fine. Okay, Blight Launcher. No. Misses. <laughs> <laughs> there is a Plasma in that squad, which of course I'm gonna overcook. And he lives. <laughs> Fours to wound. One of them wounds. Five up or death. Death! CP. Please no. Death. death. The town has gone. It blows up 2d6 inches. Oh, it blows up! <laughs> on a six. 2d6 <laughs> inch range. For five inch range. Seven. Seven inch range. Inch range yeah. And everything within seven inches of that takes d6 damage. Yes. This is going to be glorious. Can I roll? Can I roll? Of course Because it's the Riptide, it's the Commander, and it's this suit. Yeah. So the Riptide takes six wounds. So Your Commander has... takes five wounds. And the thing here takes, the Crisis team take four wounds. We'll work it out with some drones and come back to you after we clear the board. So in the end, it was the unit of Plague Marines. Well done, lads. You get a promotion, extra slugs for you at breakfast time. Uh, one of the Crisis suits has been wiped out. All the drones that were there, you basically spent, you took all the drones away. The Riptide's down to 10. Your second in command is down to six. There's a big crater there <laughs> where the town are once stood. And all of a sudden, I feel like I might be in this game. So I've got some tanks. I've still got another tank. And that thing ignores invulnerable saves. Tank on tank action one more time. Tank death. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I should start hurting the XV-88s, but I feel like they're going to get charged as well. What I'm going to do is take away some of your obsec. So this spurty drone is going to spurt down into your fire warriors here and hit them seven times. And the acid will wound them on twos and re-roll ones. And the towel duck behind a barricade and have four up saves. And I managed to melt five of them. Three of them, because you're taking two drones away again. Yes. Now the second drone, if I fire into the XV-88, you've got two up save in there anyway, because it's minus one. Two up armor, yeah. So I feel like 
that needs to spur into those little fire warriors as well. Oh, Try nice. and take away as many shields around you. I'm coming for him. I'm coming for Sunstrike. Number of auto hits. This time it's a good one. Burning, melting, the Tau Fire Warriors on twos, re-rolling ones, that's ten four up saves they need to make this time. And there are no drones to fly in front and cover the shots. Oh, they're gone. They get melted to acid and dust and, and sludge. And oh, uh, I took away three. No, one's alive. One's alive. One minute, there were a couple left, and then they got lit up by the bolt guns from the Blight Lord Terminators, which managed to... I've wiped out the squad. Ah. But the two uh, Blight launchers in the uh, Terminator squad are going to go into the XV-88s. And they'll hit on threes and re-roll ones because there's a Lord nearby. They'll only win on fours, though, because they're tough. They're chonky, but I can re-roll that. With the modifiers, three up saves. Uh, I've got shield drones. I'll just take them on the shield drones. Okay, four up and buns. Each doing two damage. So one of the drones dies. So a shield drone is down. Now let's try and do something about that nasty hammerhead. Let's fire this drone in at him with his heavy blight launcher. Hitting on threes and wounding on fives. Does a wound, which is a five up save. And manages to put two damage on the tank. And then the my tank, the Plague Burst Crawler, will fire at it. Tank on tank action. And one of the entropy cannons hits. And it wounds. And that's AP minus four. Um, I'm going to do safety pro. Oh, I've done it. So, You've done yeah. it? Yeah. And that is six damage on the tank. The Brilliant. mortar fires up and over for four shots. Three of them hit. And re-roll the one. And three of them wound. Three five-up saves on the tank. Is this a dead hammerhead? Oh, it is a dead hammerhead. It is a dead hammerhead, which also blows up on a six. No. It doesn't blow up on a six. So taking out the town art and the hammerhead in one round of shooting, I'm very, very pleased with that. I think that's all my shots. My tanks have... Well, there are a couple more shots here or there which will be out of line of sight and range. So now we need to do some charges. So what we're going to do is called Eat the XV-88 charge by putting a drone into them first. Mm. Would you like to overwatch the drone? Because then the Blightlord Terminators should be able to charge them without any overwatch. Mind you, you've got lots got of decisions because there's yeah. stuff happening on that side of the battle grid as well. I think the XV-88s could actually get a kill on the charge. Actually, while you're thinking about that, I am reminded that I didn't fire anything over this flank at all either. Oh, well, <laughs> just, just this side, you fired all them, right? Because so. that's a unit of six there, that's the unit of three, yes. right? Yeah. So I think what I need to do is shoot the unit of three because I mean to charge the unit of six. So let's fire lots of bolt guns because you're naturally minus one to hit anyway and blight launchers and things into the three uh, stealth team at the back. A few moments later, with the plague sprayer as well from the foul blight spawn, the unit of three had been melted to sludge. So now I'm going to start the charge over here. This unit of two are going to charge your stealth team. Then we did the overwatch, the fusion missed, and then all the burst cannons came in, and I've got to make a couple of saves, and I make the saves, and in the end the overwatch did nothing, and that unit charges five inches, and the unit right next to it charges eight inches, and the foul blight spawn is going to go in there as well, because he wants to go in there as well. He wants part of this fun. And at the end of the charge phase, the stealth team are well and truly entrapped. And I've managed to tag the Riptide as well. Actually, not yet, but when I pile in, I'll tag the Riptide as well. I just can't engage it at the end of the charge phase, but you can when you uh, pile in and things. So a uh, big swarm of... I don't need to charge that with that now, because yeah. I'm just going to charge the Blight Lord Terminators in. I don't think there's going to be a lot... A, mm, I need a good charge so I can circle them. And that's a seven. Which is Nurgle's number, I shall not re-roll that. The Terminators charge the XV-88s, tailing back to keep Damien here, my Lord of Contagion, safe. Besides, we couldn't uh, get everyone in close combat after the pile-in. But I am spending two CP, Vermin Whispers and Creeping Blight. That means that I'm going to be hitting on twos and Creeping Blight. If six is to wound, do extra AP. Bubotic axes strike out on twos with the Vermid Whispers re-rolling ones because of my lord. These are strength six, your toughness six. Toughness five. Toughness five? Yeah. Are they really? Yeah. Threes to wound. So that's AP minus four, which is a dead drone. These are AP minus two axes. So four up saves. Ooh, 
Oh, what a good roll. You only take three wounds. Then I've got swords. These are AP minus three if they get through. Rerolling the ones. These need fours to... Oh, no, that was a hit. These need fours to wound, though. That is AP minus really high. That's AP minus four. So that's a six up. And these are AP minus threes. I failed that one, so he's, on, he's taken four wounds. He's got four left. Right. Um, how many? Three more. Five ups. Oh, oh wow. You're saving like a boss. So one's on four wounds remaining. The suits are managing to hang in there. But now we have the flails of corruptions on twos. Rerolling ones. Wounding on threes because of contagion. Rerolling ones. They all wound. Minus fours, minus twos, each doing two damage. There's the minus four, so, right. or two damage. Yeah. So that kills one, that puts one down to six wounds left. Okay. And then these are all four up saves. There's still a drone in there, you know. You can put one on a drone, and that will kill There's a drone. Just, it's too late now. One, two, well, you three, can. four, five, six, seven. No, because I've taken damage on another one now. Oh, okay. So seven of those. Well, you don't have to take damage on another one. You could put one of those on a drone. Kill the drone. Well, that would put it would the... be on seven wounds instead. Okay. And then a drone's gone. No, because the wound doesn't spill over. It means that basically a drone's dead, a suit's dead, and those guys are full, and you've got seven more four up saves to make trust. So I take another two damage. Okay, maybe He's I shouldn't, six... <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have helped again. you out. <laughs> so the Riptides actually managed to survive the charge from the Blight Lord Terminators, but at least I've locked them up. They'll have to fire into close combat. Both or... sides. Yeah. Um, over here, would you like to pay to interrupt with Tau? No. No? Let's kill some stealth teams. The Blight Launch guy punched, didn't do any wounds. Here is the champion with his fist, and he hits once, and he smushes one into it. Oh, no, you get a six-up save against that. He, he smushes one into oblivion. We'll do the fist on the other squad. He misses, but we have a flail. In squad number two, and everything hits. What's their toughness? Three or four? I think it's four. Four. Okay, down to three. So this wounds on threes and re-rolls ones. And these are all five up saves, but every failed save will kill one because it is a flare of corruption. Three more die. There are two remaining when the plague knives go stabby McStab face and come flying in, which will wound on threes, re-roll ones, and they're four up saves. Four, four up saves. They're gone. Is it one damage? Yep. So one's on one wound. One's on one wound remaining. And I don't think I can pile in with my other guy. Because he's all the way back here. So you can fight back. Then we did the fight back with the Eggman. He didn't manage to do any wounds. Now he has a leadership test. He lost five brothers. He's leadership eight. He's gone. And he's gone. He succumbs to his injuries. And the Plague Marines take him out. The Riptide, however, could do some work by stamping down on some Plague Marines below them. Because he kicks out with his legs six times fists, on fives. Actually. Okay, all right. He turns on swing. Yeah, actually. threes to wound. And I need five up saves. Three roll, oh, yeah. Yeah. Up so that's three at minus two. Okay, it would do two damage and kill them. But instead it kills that guy and puts my sergeant down to one wound remaining. The battle lines have been drawn and it has been an absolutely brutal turn two. For the Death Guard, down in this quarter, all the fights are now resolved and suddenly there's some Plague Marines pressurising the Tau back lines. In the middle, I did remember to charge forward with this drone. We did it off camera. <laughs> I managed to put one wound on the Crisis suit there beneath the wreckage of the Tau. Now, around here, haven't taken out those XV-88s and um, suits, battle suits, Tau battle suits can shoot into combat, but there are... At least 10 Blight Lord Terminators then there. And one of the Crisis Suits, one of the XV-88s, managed to kick me in the shin in the fight back and injure one of them. So there are big gaps opening up in the tower lines. It looks like Sunstrike might soon be exposed because the Hammerhead has gone as well. The team that was down here have been completely wiped out. The explosion from the Downer was also brutal, but it's a long way from over. The tower have only had one shooting phase and there are 10 crisis teams that could drop in across this battle grid there's gaps everywhere and remember they've already sunken my battleship they've already taken out mortarian so technically they're in the lead but uh yeah talking to sultan earlier so we knew turn one and turn two would be absolutely brutal yeah i mean the turn one was always going to be in the tower's favor because you had to walk towards me yes but now you're in combat it could very easily switch back because as soon as you tie me up 
Are you nervous? Uh, no, I'm having a good time. On the surface, you look calm and ready to drop bombs. Mm. Mum spaghetti, as oh. we've gone to Tower Turn 2. <laughs> so how would a Tau respond to such a reckless hate? Well, we'll come round this side of the battle grid to ask Sultan Plays to talk us through his master plan. Down on the right flank where the Plague Marines are pressing, what's the plan, sir? So Riptide's going to just shoot every single gun into this one man on one wound. He shouldn't be there okay. after this. <laughs> Meanwhile, these guys, uh, there's some stratagems I could potentially use, but I'm waiting to see how they do. We've got 40 shots re-rolling ones, exploding sixes into the team here. Right. And then there's a ghost kill lining up your character if required. It's worth mentioning that this counts as a hill. It's not cover. Mm. Um, they're just stood running down the side of that gravelly. So you're hoping to clear everything away with all these guns, and then I guess the Terminators and the rest are tomorrow's problems? Yes, very much so. In the um, middle? In the middle, we're going to ignore this. We've got um, two fusions firing into combat. A Hopefully they'll do range. something. They're there to sacrifice themselves for the character. Okay. Um, they've done that. He, she's got away. And you step the XV88 out of combat? Yes, because I've brought in... a ton of reinforcements in the form of crisis suits who have got drop site clear or drop zone clear i forget which reroll hits and wounds when they land right so they're going to be firing everything into them three yes. damage normally but becomes two because of your thing yeah and the cyclic are going to back them up here sunstrike's going to back them up fire warriors looking at drones riptide mm. looking at drones commander here looking at trying to beam a shot through the terminators and the drones cool and then marker lights on the drones marker lights on the terminators marker lights over on that side of the battle grid as well Drop zone clear, being employed. You're keeping the second suit with all the missiles in reserve. In my back pocket, For yeah. now, in the back pocket. The Tau desperately need to push back against this aggression. Let's move on to the shooting phase. We'll start right below the tower. Uh, six shots would be hitting on threes, but close combat. No, they're assault, yeah. so they're still hitting on threes. Drone, a point blank range. And threes because of Sept of the Summer Lightning. Threes yeah. to wound. Rerolling one of those. So two wounds. It could kill it if I fail both of my five up and vulnerable saves, which I don't, but it's D6 plus two. Eight. That's eight damage, which becomes seven damage. The drone is on two left. So the drone gets shot full of holes and leaks pus, but it's still chugging away. Then we came across to this flank where the iron tide pointed point blank range at the champion below his feet and atomized him. And now relentless fusillade. Spending the CP, one of the shots of fire warriors are firing everything up yeah. at these plague marines here. So this is 20 shots hitting on threes into the plague marines, re-rolling ones and sixes explode. Ouch. So out of 20 shots, you get 24 hits, yeah. which wound on fours. And these are now AP minus two because of that strategy. And I'm going to need a lot of fives. This kills six plague marines. There were only six left in that squad after they disembarked from the Rhino. So the unit of Plague Marines are entirely wiped out and now the second squad of Fire Warriors fires everything at the Fire Black, Foul Blightspawn. And the Foul Blightspawn didn't stand a chance, which leaves the Ghost Kill um, suddenly, uh, suddenly bereft of targets. So he's gonna fire a cyclic Iron Blaster past the Riptide and into this hell route here. So one to do more wounds because I'm overcharging. He okay. gets fours. Okay. Uh, this is twice. Strength eight, so threes. With a single reroll. Right, so that's five invulnerable saves coming up. Four, four invulnerable saves. Four invulnerable saves. How much damage normally? Normally three becomes two. So six damage. It's on two left. Ooh. And that's the end of the shooting on this flank. Sultan, that went well. Yes. You've managed to, I mean, there's only a plucky band of heroes down here, but they've managed to repulse the first push. There will be a second wave coming down towards you. We did the shots in the middle drone on XV88. So now we're on to uh, Sunstrike's plan number two. And plan number two is try and kill as many Blightlord Terminators as possible. And there are 10 there. Where are we starting? We're starting with the squad that can spend the marker light. So these guys, they'll be hitting on threes, re-rolling everything. Yeah. Wounding on uh, threes, re-rolling. Re-rolling everything because yeah. the drop's like clear. Yeah. So loads and loads of plasma shots coming in hot. Are you ready? I'm Have ready. you got the dice? You count yes. them out. Threes. <sighs> It's the re-rolls I'm scared of. Yeah. Right, to be honest, I'm scared of this squad. It is a very scary squad. It is a scary squad. And then threes. Re-rolling everything. You're rolling hot today. Rolling hot. These dice available from the deployment zone.tv merchandise page. Right, normally each failed save will kill a Terminator. 13. But I 
and Death Guard. One of well, them the is... first one is already on two wounds, right? So he's okay. in cover as well. So four up saves. I'm rolling your dice because they're yeah. lovely. Not that lovely. Okay, so we take uh, them away. That kills the injured one. One, two, three, four. And four are dead and one is on one wound remaining. Six Terminators left standing after the Plasma team, the Cyclic Iron Raker team, comes firing in. Hitting on threes at this range. We're running ones because of Sunstrike. Yep. It's strength seven, these wound on threes. Now, they would do two damage each, but one damage each to me. And uh, one damage because I'm not overcharging. You're not charging. Yeah, right. I need to make a bunch of four plus and vulnerable saves again. Good luck. Thank you. Um, Better. That'll kill the injured one. One's dead. Two's dead. And one's on one wound. So because one of the Black Lords is down to one wound, they're injured, they're reeling, you're spending a CP on coordinated engagement. The Riptiden and the Fire Warrior team are going to fire in, but the Fire Warriors get a better AP. They're hitting on threes at this range. So both the Riptide will get a better AP as well. Yeah. Rerolling ones because Sunstrike is nearby. And wounding the Black Lords on fours. Reroll one of those. Small arms come flying in. I need four up saves. That kills the injured one. One drops one down to two wounds remaining. There are only three Blight Lord Terminators left standing. Then the Riptide on threes. This is the big gun. And threes. With a single reroll. Four up saves from the big gun, the heavy burst cannon. Kills the injured one. Kills another one. There is a Terminator on two wounds remaining. And it gets pounded by SMS. Fours. Which wounds three times and kills the last Terminator. And a hailstorm of firepower finally manages to take down all of the Blight Lord Terminators. Now the second in command is firing through to the second drone, which hits on a two. So this is the one that goes through. Her other normal fusion, that's a and gauges. It misses. I'm gonna climb point because I haven't actually done one yet. Okay. Hits. And it hits, because it hit them both. Yeah, um, her other two normal fusion are going into that. Into the front one? Yes. Right, okay. So the one at the back wounds on a five, foot three, sorry, and wounds. Does that ignore invulnerable saves or anything silly? No, no. No? I failed the save. How much damage? D6 plus two always with this one. Brilliant. Four, four. Okay. Plus three. The back drone's on four wounds remaining. Roll the wound on him. On a three, which wounds? Okay. Don't make the save. For six becomes five. Brilliant. So one shot with the alternating fusion blaster goes through both of the drones and knocks them down to four wounds remaining. But the commander still has two fusion shots which are coming into the close drain, hitting on threes. because she's a commander. Oh yeah, threes because And then threes to wound. <laughs> and she gets her free reroll. Which wounds? Five up, invulnerable save. And I fell that as well. Just D6 damage now. Just. For one damage. Yeah. The front drone's on three. So the last hailstorm of bullets to come out from this quarter of the battlefield is Commander Sunstrike himself, putting everything into the injured drone at the front. This on is the one that ignores the invern. Okay, on twos. And wounding on threes. With a reroll. Okay, so that ignores the invern and does... Two damage now because of the minus so one So that's on one wound remaining. Two I six. need to make both of the five up saves or we have a dead drone. We have a dead drone. It can blow up. And it might hurt the drone behind. No, the postulant explosion doesn't hurt other Nurgle units. And all of a sudden, the Tau have cleared their lines and are holding on to this side of the missile silo. We did the combat in the middle. My drone took a wound. It's down to one wound remaining. And on this side, the Tau have also managed to defend very well their home objective. The Death Guard have been cut in half. Losing Mortarion early in the game was... A heavy, heavy blow. And the firepower we have seen that comes back from the Tau is still incredible. That drop site clear, though, on that unit of XVATH. Can't do that again. Well, At least that's happened once. Well, what, what, what? I can do it with the other squad when they come in, yeah. So you can do it again. But there's missiles. It's slightly different. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I do also. I am aware that you've got redeployment shenanigans with cold star suits Just and with things. Sunstrike, so yeah. there, I can't exactly run off of this objective here and le let you mm. get it. But what I can try and do now is continue to swarm the missile silo in the middle yes. as we go on to Death Guard turn three. So Kaon has kicked in, which means when the Tau shoot me, sixes explode. Um, 
I had a lot of difficult decisions to make. How much do I send down into this murder ball with Sunstrike in it? And the answer is not a lot. Keep pounding them from range. Try and get rid of the objective secured unit with the Plague Spitter. And my Lord of Contagion, Damien, have joined up with a unit of Plague Marines that intend to charge the XV-88 against. Keep them honest round here. The drone doesn't need to drop out of combat with the two fusion teams. It can shoot him. And there is was a unit on top. There's still a unit on top of that missile silo down there, which are going to charge and try and join in and wipe out the fusion. The other unit are doing what is called chilling behind the line of sight, blocking terrain, ready to jump up there later on. And then we come all the way across to the other side of the battle grid where the ghost kill, the riptide and the stealth suits are denying my advance. Well, now the Terminators are pushing forward along with the hell brute. And this is where I decided to drop my second in command. Polis has come down here with the death shroud Terminators. It'll be a nine inch charge down that hill into these lines. First, I want to miasma up some stuff, though. And I think I'm going to miasma up the death round because they are, well, they're stood on top of a hill. And I managed to pull them off. So at least they'll be minus one to hit. And now what we're going to do is start by shooting all the normal guns behind at the stealth team. What did you say? Strike team. Strike team, not, not, not stealth team. Uh, spending a CP on Vermid Whispers. Uh, so I'm hitting on twos with all these bolt guns and re-rolling those ones. And then threes to wound the Fire Warriors with my combi bolters. Where their armor hold firm on fours. Two drones fall, two Fire Warriors fall. The Blight launchers come in. They hit and re-roll ones to wound. They both wound. Those are five up saves. And that's another Fire Warrior that bites the dust. So in the end... Only two drones and three fire warriors. Not enough to force a morale. But the Death Stroud Terminators do have Plague Spurt Gauntlets and they're in range and they automatically hit 14 times. Gauntlets in their fists. Wounding on fours. Rerolling ones. It's a plague weapon, but you do get a full armor save against this. They're only strength three. And three more fire warriors die screaming. Okay, so at least we're going to force some morale on one squad. A nine inch charge into the second squad of fire warriors. Now we're on to Operation Kill the Riptide. Now you overcharged it last time. The Nova charge, you gave it the five up feel no pain. Yes. Because you figured that it could be in trouble this turn. Well, I figured that he was firing into combat, so there was no point doing the guns. That's true. <laughs> um, so let's start off with the multi melter hell brute, um, which hits both of the times and will wound on not that. Um, do I CP this? No, I've got a lot of firepower coming into him. I'd rather CP the damage. There's the Laz Cannon Hellbrute. And he hits once. Does he re-roll because of the Demon Prince? And he does re-roll because of the Demon Prince. And he wounds once. One that minute. That was the hit. So now you've got a wound. That was the hit. Yeah. That's the wound. Four up in Bumble... Was it Bumble Bear? The roll of four. On the drone. <laughs> yeah. Shield drone. He dies. Uh, well, well, it's got decent... Depending on the damage. Well, he's he died. Dead, dead drone. Yeah. Okay, I got rid of the drone. <laughs> now the crawlers will fire in. Um, unfortunately, we're firing through trees, so the melters might miss. So let's... I think I've only been firing through... Anyway, melters, fours. Oh, look at that. They've Three. actually hit better than the rest of the game so far. Yeah. Two wounds. Two four up and vulnerable saves. Make one fair one. Command point at all. Um, D6 damage coming um, in. Going to do counter fire defense stratagem. You can when an attack is allocated to it, I yes. damage become one. Oh, so that just becomes a one. But then I get to shrug it. Oh, which I don't shrug it, so he takes a damage. It takes a wound. All right, missiles. I'm not 100 percent sure I did that at the right time, but the wording is really confusing. The missiles miss. Um, this is a trouble. This is this is troubling. This is a well, I've started, so I'll finish. So the drone with the heavy blight launcher will fire in on fours through the trees and on fives. Nothing. The tank uh, can't see it. The mortar can, but the it can see. I'm going to put everything in the XV88s actually, because they're a problem. Okay, so let's fire the two entropy cannons into them, and um, one of them hits, and one of them wounds. Nice. And at minus four, but you're in cover, so you need a five up save. Make can it. You make the five up save. Here's the mortar for five shots. Uh -oh. This will be threes, because I do have line of sight, and yeah. threes. 
And those are three up saves because you're in cover. Oh, and that's man. two damage, dropping down one down to four wounds remaining. And now we're picking on them. We're going to uh, spurt over here with Damien. He has the Acidic Malady. It's two D6 auto hits. And they're wound on threes. Uh, Reroll ones, so there's four twos. And because of cover, you'll get a three up save. But only one damage a time. Ooh. Two more wounds. Two Acidic wounds burns into them. And the squad right in front, that means to charge them. We'll fire them as well. Starting off with the Blight Launcher, which hits both of the times. And is a plague weapon, so re-rolls that. And that's a three up or death. No, still alive. So lots of bolt guns. And that'd be five two up saves from the bolt guns. And dead? yes, I do manage Wait to take fire down. has a quality all of its own. It does. I mean, essentially, one of my uh, little units of plague marines has taken out a towner, and the other one's taken out a suit of XD88. So I'm yeah. very pleased with that sort of thing. That's one thing actually. You've been teaching me Horus Heresy lately. That's one thing I like about that is that bolt guns can't injure a super heavy because no. they in they wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, if the strength of the weapon is less than half of the toughness of something, it just doesn't wound. So t- strength four bolt gun versus toughness eight town half, for example. Yeah. Yeah. So it wouldn't work there, but. It- it's, eight, it's nice addition. Shoot as many bolt guns as you want at a land raider. It isn't going to do anything. Yeah. This team is going to charge the XV-88s with the fusion, but you'll notice how X-V-88s. I lined them up so that there's one here that can shoot past. Now, I can't actually shoot your commander because he isn't the closest enemy unit and she. he is within three she. Yeah. But I can shoot the Riptide. So I am going to overcook my plasma gun, keep my finger on the trigger. What's the worst that can happen? Miss. That's well, not the that's worst. Not the that's worst. not the worst <laughs> that can happen. Okay, so moving along. Oh yeah, Spurty McSpurt I'm face. guessing these warriors aren't long for this world. He wants to spurt into those warriors. So I need to get rid of your objective secured and he'll hit them 11 times. What now? Uh, just I wanted to just let you know off camera, the Enforcer battle suit can make crisis suits obsec in the command phase. So I just wanted you to know, it's not got you later. I like the fact that you make up these rules halfway through the game. Apparently so, yeah. It's just because it doesn't often come up, because I've got Fire Warriors for days. Look at you checking the rule book and everything. Well, I just knew that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to win those Fire Warriors on twos. I'm going to re-roll ones. Uh, there are some drones there. They are behind cover. So lots of four-up saves. This is minus one. Mm. And you make lots of... How come my dice are working better for you than they're working for me? Drones intercept some of the shots, but one of the fire warriors die. So the last things that can actually reach out and touch the Tau army is my Tonk and my Fetid Bloat Drone. And I am in a target-rich environment here, and there seems to be a lot of crisis suits. I don't know what's scarier to me, them or them. Or them. Or him. I think, I think, I think these. I think these. Did I do, I didn't do the increased damage thing yet, have I? Disgusting Force, no I don't think you So let's do Disgusting Force and drop it down there because the splash damage is going to hurt a lot. And I have three shots, which hit on three, oh, Oh. everything misses. Fear not, the Entropy Cannons will hit, well at least one of them will. And wound, and four up and vulnerable save. And you fail the save, and it's a minimum four damage. Uh, So that will nuke one of them. Did you? I don't think I did, did I? Did you? No, because they had drones in the units. Damn it. One CP save protocols. Damn it. Stubby guns went in as well, did no damage because of Iridian armor. So the drone is coming in and hits on threes and wounds on threes, re-rolling ones. And these are four up and vulnerable saves. Two damage a time. Oh, these are minus two, are they? Yes, minus three, Ooh. actually. Oh. I kill a suit. You kill a suit. I kill a suit. That makes me feel a lot better about my life choices and that is the end of my shooting phase. I've killed some fire warriors. Not a lot else. Oh no! I forgot to spurt you in, into combat here. Oh yeah, treat yourself. I spurt on you ten times. And the plague spitters come all over the fire warriors right in front and wound them. On threes, re-rolling ones. Yeah. There's a guy with iridium armor. So you're tanking on the iridium armor. Three up saves to start off with. So if that's the you're first still three. okay? He's he, taken a wound. Now I have to do him two at a time. He's still fine. And then the last one to roll, he's fine. He takes a wound. And he takes a wound? Yeah. After I splash all over him. He that is it. the end of my shooting face. That was a really bad shooting face. So now we need to make some charges. This drone here is going to charge the Fire Warriors. Would yeah, the Fire Warriors like to... Hit. They're in. Drones jumped over. Would you like to heroically intervene with your commander? No, she hasn't got the honour of a today. So. <laughs> In the middle, we're going to charge the XV-88. Would you like to overwatch? Go for it. We charge. 
leaving a space here for Damien, my Lord of Virulence. And he is very virulent. He goes charging in as well. Three successful charges so far. Now the nine-inch charge down the hill into the Fire Warriors. It is worth mentioning one thing. Yes. Because I know some people in the audience might be thinking this. There are such stratagems as Repulsor Impact Field and Photon Grenades to slow down charges, but yes. Death Guard are never affected by that, so there's no point spending them. No, not in the movement, assault or charge phase. We always move at a normal, relentless speed. Nine-inch charge into these Fire Warriors. Go for it. And this is where I spend the CP. Yep. And they failed the charge. That could be a um, change for me. I don't know if the Dreadnought is in. I don't think it's... I think can, it's... These guys were nine away, I think. Yeah. He's going to overwatch though well, if you charge the Riptide. They, they fail. You can, char you can overwatch the Terminators. He did overwatch into the Terminators with the Riptide, managing to kill one of them. And then we have one last charge to make, which is these Plague Marines that want to attack these guys down here. Seven inch charge. As a mate away, does Nurgle want it? Nurgle wants it. After the Plague Marines pile in right below the fortress, this is where we end up. And I don't think I'm afraid of Tau trying to interrupt any of these combats. So we'll start off with these hero Plague Marines trying to rescue this drone on one wound remaining. The champion will raise his power fist and hit twice. And your toughness four now. Yeah, because the contagion. So I will wound you on twos. And you will need to make an invulnerable save or lose your Iridium armor. You made it. You make it. Beautiful. So let's hit you with a flail because I managed to get that in. And this will wound on fours and reroll ones. And that is two four up saves. Make one And the one. Iridium armor is taken out because that's two damage. And then there's only two guys in that combat who are in range with the plague knives before all the action begun. And they don't manage to wound. So that's the end of that combat. Um, I could pile in. A little bit of piling in. And now we come up to the missile silo with Damien, my Lord of Virulence, with his play claw, will uh, smash out against the um, XV-88. He hits on threes because it's it's basically a power fist, which is also a plague weapon. Mm. And he'll wound on twos and reroll ones. Okay, that many at minus three. So that many five up saves. <laughs> he makes one. Uh, and that is four damage. So it's on four wounds remaining. But will it be able to withstand the flail of corruption? Rerolling ones. There's a lord nearby. And wounding on threes. Only one more wound, a four up save. No, it's on two wounds remaining. And then the champion raises his power fist and smashes him once. And wounds once. And takes the XV88 out. The Plague Marines swarmed the missile silo, Damien standing in amongst them. Then we did the fight with the drone, killing a chunk more fire warriors down here. And we did the fight backs with the Tau. No damage caused. That is the end of my turn. We do have some leadership tests, though. The unit that got shot at and charged by the drone. Don't so, roll high. They're fine. They hold firm. And then this one is exact same test. On a four up, they run. They're one running. Runs, and then four left. Okay. On ones and twos. Top, top, top dice don't count. Though I do need to check it. I don't think bonding knives are still a thing. So, I don't think yeah. they are. So, um, well, we'll check. So we check. There's three Tau Fire Warriors down here. A Riptide on 13 wounds left. And an uninjured Ghost Kill. And a swarm of Fire Warriors trying to hold on to the home objective. And facing them are four Terminators. The Death Shroud. A couple of Lords. A Demon Prince. The fight in the middle is continuing. Um right next to the silo. And over here, this is the remainder of the Tau Force for now because there is still another five-man team of crisis suits with missiles that can drop in. It's a bloody turn. Both of us have lost huge chunks of our army and the Death Guard, the Death Guard are split up. I've got a, a chunk in this corner, a chunk all over the Bastion and chunk pushing the left side. Let's find out how the Tau respond in turn three. So the Tau are dancing along the back lines, trying to put as much firepower down into this relentless smelly horde before they push forward. Round here, there's going to be an awful lot of firepower coming up into the fortress, into my drone, into the Plague Marines and into Damien. The fusion guy who was in close combat has dropped back out of close combat because K-On is in effect. Yep. So he can fire in. Fall back and shoot. He can fall back and shoot. So long as you stay within 12? Yes. Um, oh, no, no, so 12 is the exploding sixes. Right. Um, K 
K on. The other thing is they can fall back and shoot at minus one to hit and no K on. Minus one to hit and no K on, but it's plus one to hit because you're still in nine inches of that one yeah, wound drone. Yeah, fours. Okay, so that is flank number one. That is Sunstrike's team over here. Drop site clear, being spent one more time. All the missile team is in and they're going to be firing up the hill. Yeah. And then you've actually moved forward with the ghost kill and the riptide to get in K on range of terminators and dreadnoughts and things. And yeah, riptide's prioritizing the four of terminators remaining. And the ghost kills prioritizing this two wound dread. Okay, so let's shoot. Coming back to this side of the battle grid because Commander Sunstrike wants to execute that fetid bloke drone, firing in a point blank range on twos. There's the special one There's again. There's the special one again. So everything hits. And winning on threes. Everything wounds. And that, that goes through. And does three damage. Becoming two. Okay. And you've got two demon saves. It's gone. The drone dies, blows up on a four. Ooh. and does a mortal wound to everything around it. After the drone was executed, the fire warriors are fired up at the plague rains, causing no wounds. Now this crisis team with the cyclic iron blasters are firing up at the plague rains. They're hitting on threes. Fours, they're just outside of oh. arc light range. Okay, but, but you are re-rolling ones. Re ones, and k -on is a thing, yes. so those sixes count as two hits. And they use a wound on threes with a single re-roll. They're raping minus two. But I am in cover, so I get four up saves. All causing one damage on a player. This is good. One, two. You only kill two and injure one. And then the big boy, the Riptide, with his burst cannon. He is hitting on threes. And sixes explode. Yep. One on threes. Daka, daka, daka. Again, four up saves. I'm in cover. That's the injured one. That's another one. That's another one. Leaving two Plague Marines remaining before the SMS goes smashing in. And uh, you can add those three back in again. Two. Forced to wound. And I need three up saves. The injured one dies. There's one left. And Damien. And almost everything's fired in this corner. You have commander number two. The plasma team and the fusion team. The plasma team don't want to fire here, so I'm no? going to put the fusion who fell back into the last plague marine. Into the last plague marine. Yeah, because the commander will fire at the other commander, right? Okay. So uh, minus one to hit when you fall back, but plus one to hit because of K on. Fours, rerolling ones. Okay, two hits. And uh, twos, or threes even, with a single reroll. They both reroll. Okay, so I need sixes because of cover. Right, you nuke the last. Okay, Damien is stood alone. Are you going to execute him with your second in command? Yeah, so we'll do the special gun first. Okay. So this is the always D6. Actually, everything's D6 plus two at this range. Okay. So twos and then threes. Everything wounds. Um, Damien has a four up and vulnerable save, though. He can take this. He can, he take, can take this. He passes every single save. So we're moving around to the Plasma Crisis team of four. Yeah. Uh, my fitted bloat drone back here is on one wing remaining. So one is going to fire into that with triple guns. Yeah. And the other guns are going to go into the Plague Marines. Here's the shots into the drone on fours. Sixes explode. <laughs> Threes to wound. Okay. He'll, he'll take the free reroll because you're good at these saves. Uh, no, dead drone. It doesn't matter if it blows up. It doesn't hurt Nurgle unit. So you did manage to take out the drone. And now we have nine shots going into my Blade Marines. These will go straight through and kill. Are you in so, K-on range? Yes. Nice. So uh, fours. Well, we're not three, but not far sight range. But not far sight range. Okay. Yeah. Threes to wound. Strength eight. I think they're eight. Are they AP minus three or four? Minus four. Are they? Yeah. So that's five dead Marines. Yes. Ouchie. And all of a sudden, there's not very many plate marines over here. I mean, what can I do to withstand this amount of firepower from the town? Now we're coming over to the unit of missile crisis teams firing up at the Death Shroud Terminators, which are currently minus one to hit right now. But spending the marker light that you put on them, making them plus one to hit and also two CP on drop zone clear, re-rolling all hits and all wounds. So we're back to hitting on fours? Yes. Drop dice don't count. Lots of sixes already, but here's the re-rolls. Because each of those sixes counts as two hits. Man, your purple dice roll a lot of sixes. These dice are available on the deployment zone. Dot TV <laughs> merchandise page. I mean, how many sixes did you get? Well, I only missed four in total, Five. sorry. Yeah. That's 13 extra shots going in. I don't have that many dice. Right, you're winning on threes. Yep. 
and you're re-rolling all of these as well. Yeah. Re-rolling. Ouchie. Normally two damage, but one damage. However, I need to make a bajillion four up in vulnerable saves. I don't think that's a bajillion. In the end, it would have killed four Death Shroud Terminators. So now Lord Polus is exposed. Death by firing squad by the fire warriors down here. Spending your last CP yep. to get the AP up. Six is exploding because of the Cadra fire blade over here. You are hitting on fours though. Yep. Fours really. But sixes one. double explode because you explode once because of the Cadra fire blade and once because of K on. And for the first time, you only rolled a couple of sixes, yeah. which is lucky. And you're going to win a fours. With one reroll. And because of the relentless fuselage, I need fours. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Polos gets taken out. Death by firing squad. Then there were some more small arms. The Cadra fire blade plus this plucky unit of three remaining fire warriors fired into the Terminators and killed one more. Now we're on to the last guns. The big guns that never tire. The uh, ghost gear is putting everything into this thing. Uh, yeah, I was considering splitting, but I just want that dead. You want it dead. So it's the burst count. Okay. Hitting on fours at this range, but sixes do explode. And fives to wound with the burst cannons. Uh, Save my reroll for the big gun. You might not need the big gun, because these are seven three-up saves. And no, oh. it's still alive. Do you need one the big gun? Wound remaining, you do need the cyclic iron raker, which fires six times on fours, and that six counts as two hits. So that is... Four hits, winning on threes. With that single reroll I saved. Three, five up saves. Command point, and I keep him alive. Ooh. He's alive! On one wound remaining. So the Riptide with his overcharged gun is gonna put the two plasma shots into the Hellbrute to try and kill it. Everything else is going in to the Terminators. Here's the plasma. Fours. And uh, both miss. You finally miss. That Hellbrew is blessed by Nurgle. Big guns. Ion. Into Terminators. Fours, but sixes explode. But Mel no. Minus one to hit, plus one to hit. Yeah. No explosions. Oh, thank you. So, threes. Uh, threes to wound. With that one reroll. With three wounds on sixes there. Three, four plus invulnerable saves. Three dead Terminators. That's the squad. And the Terminators have been obliterated and you've managed to defend yourself against the second wave by drop site clearing with a second unit of XV-88. So there's a very angry Hellbrute and a demon about to charge down to your jawed lines. And um, you've got rid of all my obsec because Terminators are obsec. I do have a morale to take in the middle of the battle grid here. There were seven uh, Plague Marines there and now one of them runs away. And the sergeant leaves is left standing there. Mm, I could keep the flail. We'll do it that way round. So there is a flail left standing there. Damien is uninjured. Mm. He's standing there bellowing down at all the crisis suits below him. At some point, though, the tower are going to need to start moving forward to try and claim some of these objectives. Lucky we're quick. You are very quick. Mm. I'm very smelly. Oh. But not as smelly as me. Yeah. As we go on to Death Guard, turn four. So the plan for the Death Guard is simple. Continue pressurizing this flank. This time I've got multi-melters in multi-melter range and the Riptide overcharged its gun. It doesn't have the five up shrug. And there's Fluffy as well. I made sure I moved him around this way. So a cheeky smite will kill some drones. And that's a super smite into the ghost kill unit, which does four mortal wounds. And that is what I call a good start. Both of the drones gone and the ghost kill down to 10 wounds remaining. Uh, we're going to start with the haulers first, though, firing at the Riptide. One of the melters isn't in multi-melter range, hitting on threes. And that will wound on threes with a four plus in Vun, which you make. And then the other melters, which are in melter range, hit twice and wound twice. And you fail both of those saves and you don't have any CP. Nope. So this is 2d6 plus 4 to this, which will be 10 damage. How many is it on? It's got 3 left. So if I CP re-roll that, I, get one back. I make it worse. <laughs> and he's on 4 left. So the missiles come in and every single one do. of them misses. <laughs> 
So, see, the charge should be okay. I've got a multi melter Laz Cannon here. Um, let's fire the Laz Cannon in at the Ghost Kill. I'm going to hit you on fours, though, he right? He has because... a five up shrug to this. Does he? Why? Uh, he's got a flare launcher. Attacks with strength seven or above, he gets a five up shrug too. Does he? Yes. But he, yeah. Okay. Let's fire at the Riptide with the multi melter then. Multi melter. Hits once. Wounds once. Or up save. You make the save. Let's fire the Laz Cannon at the Riptide. Both of them hit. Both of them wound. Four up saves. He's fine. Well, I would say fine. He lost nine wounds. Okay. <laughs> in the grand scheme of things, he's alive. Yes. Well, the charge should be okay, because you've got so many things that you're going to need to overwatch against. Um, we're going to come over here. Mm -hmm. And it's AP minus two strength high onto these guys. His charge into them should be brutal. So I think I'm going to spur on the team behind okay. with Damien. And I hit them 11 times. And with all the modifiers, this wounds you on threes and re-rolls ones. And they're AP minus two. They all have shield generators though. So four up and vulnerable saves. He's doing one damage. So that's one dead. That's two dead. And he one in. takes out two of them. Good shot, Damien. That just leaves the sergeant left, so it'd be rude not to shoot the drone into him, but uh, that would be going through trees. So I've lined up the drone to shoot at the plasma team behind, mm -hmm. so I'm going to shoot at the plasma team behind. And here is the heavy blight launcher, and five of the shots hit, and three of the shots wound. They need invulnerable saves as well. And one of them takes two wounds. And then I'm going to do Blight Bombardment from the tank and fire the tank into that squad as well. Here's the number of shots with the mortar, which I'm going to spend another CP to get it up to six. Finally, I might be able to do some damage with the mortar if I can hit. And I only hit three times. But I do wound three times. Invulnerable saves, each doing three damage. That will kill the injured one and one more. And then the Entropy Cannons come in and they both miss. So that will cause three more wounds. Three up saves, and that tickles another one. At least I'm hurting these teams here. Two in one squad, two in the other. I might even force a morale. That's all the shooting around this side of the battle. I think I shot the tank. Did I shoot this tank? I don't think I shot this tank. I'm saving this tank, and I was saving this drone as well. Because there's the other crisis teams over there. Last time, I didn't put much damage into your crisis team, and it really hurt me. Mm. But over here... Charges and things? Hmm. No. I, I lined up to shoot at the crisis team. I'm shooting the crisis team. Let's put the mortar from the tank into the missile crisis teams. And only one shot again. Which misses. And the entropy cannons have been missing all the time as well. This time they hit. They're going to wound you on threes, threes though. Because you're a bit tougher. And they're AP minus a gazillion. Uh, fail by the save. Drop burst don't count. And it's minus, it's a minimum four damage. So Do I need two of them? Yeah, the four wins. Beautiful. So I've killed six crisis suits so far this turn. Maybe this is what I should have been doing all along. The drone is going to fire down in. Last remaining shots on threes into the crisis teams. Wounding them on threes. And they're four up saves as well, each doing two damage. Uh, fine. And you managed to shrug that. And that is the end of my shooting phase. I think that was pretty good, considering it as you've been absolutely hammering me. So we're coming round here to the charge phase. After killing so many suits round here, after Damien flamed the accelerator ion bastards behind, <laughs> he's going to charge into the fire warriors who, nobly, you're definitely overwatching here, aren't you? I've got no CP. Oh yeah, brilliant. Uh, that's a five. He gets in. The flail of corruption is going into the fusion guy who dared to step out of close combat from him. No CP to overwatch. Round here. Dreadnought number one with the Laz Cannon going into Ghost Kill. That's an eight inch charge. He makes a charge. Dreadnought number two with the multi melters into the Riptide. Eight inch charge. He makes the charge, which leaves Fluffy somewhat isolated. And you know what? It's a seven. Nogal wants it to make both of these. Thank you, Nogal. So beautiful, stinky charges made across the line. When I said you smell earlier on, by the way, I meant the fish smell. The t I didn't mean you. You smell well, they're not lovely. Fish, apparently they're quite dry. 
Are they? Okay. Yeah. yeah, I don't know where the fish thing comes from either. I think it's terrible fish brown or things are like that. I'm happy with Tao being good. I like Tao. <laughs> I think you've got to have you've got to have the Gundam somewhere in the 41st millennium. It's a big mm. galaxy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, these are all fists. Like I said, I, I I didn't put any special stuff on all my things. We have fists hitting your Riptide. I'm going to hit that with a hell brute on threes and re-roll ones because Fluffy is cheering them on. Now. Hellbrute Fist would normally win on threes, but minus one to your toughness because of contagions. So I'm winning on twos. And I wound you four times, three damage a time, four up in vulnerable saves on the Riptide. He is dead. And the Hellbrute rips the Riptide down. Please don't roll a six. You roll a six? Yes. How big is the explosion? What does it do? I didn't actually expect him to explode. Well, neither did I. And I've got a Hellbrute on one wound. three mortal wounds. I've got a Hellbrute on one wound. How big is the explosion? Six inches. Oh no. So that Hellbrute's gone. Boom goes the Riptide. The Hellbrute takes a wound. Fluffy takes two wounds. The Hellbrute next to Fluffy gets taken out of the action, but he doesn't mind. He strides forwards and engages the Ghost Guild in one on one combat with his Hellforge Warp Sword. That Ghost Guild, as well, is down to eight wounds left after that explosion. Let's see if we can make another one of these suits blow up. I hit on twos. And I wound on threes, but I re-roll all failed wounds because of Warp Insect Hive. No invun, so AP minus three, three damage, you need sixes. Make one. And Fluffy takes the ghost kill down. Which explodes. No! Okay, so another D3 on Fluffy. Three. So Fluffy is really paying for going flying in there. He's on three wounds left. for these three Fire Warriors. Three Fire Warriors. Uh, one of them gets blown up. What about my Hellbrute? And one. one on the Hellbrute. But finally, I've broken through the big monster machines on this flank. So then we move from the hill to the middle to the Flail of Corruption, hitting that Fusion, cr fusion Crisis Commander that he's been chasing down, wounding them on threes, and he needs to make two four-up saves. Next one, fails one. How many wounds did he have? Three. He's still on one wound remaining. And we'll go to Damien. With his uh, plague claw, and uh, he misses three times, but he will kill two of them. We fought back with the plucky fire warriors and the Tao suit over here, causing no damage. No morale needs to be taken to Sunstrike and her posse down here, and indeed, no morale needs to be taken over here as well. But your objective is someone looking somewhat perilous now. There are a chunk of fire warriors and a missile team of crisis suits that mean to defend it. But when we look back across my lines, I mean, I'm split up all over the place. Some poxwalkers making a break to the castle in the middle. But uh, that's the end of my turn four. And there still are a lot of guns left on the table as we go into town, turn four. So right now, there's no one controlling the missile silo in the centre of the battlefield. Each of us are controlling our home objectives. Mortarion's gone, and Sunstrike is still very snugly back down here. You did fall out of close combat with the Fire Warriors here to rain as much firepower as you can into Damien, and there's going to be some firepower in close combat, hitting that last uh, Plague Marine with his flail of corruption there. But the Riptide and one of the suits has jumped forward. And you spent a CP on dynamic offensive? Yes. So that means that that suit could advance the full distance and still shoot without bliss, without, uh, without, without penalty. Without penalty, because otherwise he'd have been hit on fives. And uh, there's plenty of poxwalkers that you want to... Uh, is that the Apollo Is that field repairs, yeah. Field repairs on the spiky thing at the back. Okay, okay so loads of shots coming down that way and potentially into the drone as well. This is the shots on this flank. If everything goes well around here, the tower should definitely be able to uh, clear away that part of the missile silo and get rid of some of the threats as well. Meanwhile, over on this side of the battle group, everything is pointing at Fluffy, the Hellbrute. So I don't think there will be long for this world. But Sultan, being Sultan, wants to start the shooting phase all the way over there. It's the way I'm going left okay, to right, all right. Where you read. I come yeah. on over to you. So what are we doing? Starting the cyclic ion blaster guy, firing into your big squad of them. Is this damage two? No. No. Well, I can make it damage two, but then he might die. Okay. You could do that if you want, because I do have six-up shrugs. Mm. Mm. It'd be I nice got, if he I'm dies. Me, I'm gonna actually going to change up what I'm doing. Okay. He's firing everything at your drone. Right. This is a two-damage burst cannon, so the riptide will fire at your... 
Okay. Because he got 16 shots with that. So the crisis suit is shooting the drone. Yes. Okay. He still needed to advance to get close enough to do stuff. All right then, fours to hit. Fives and sixes explode now. Yes. Because of K-on. One, two, three. Have you got any more hits than you have a shot? Yes. Strength seven, toughness seven. Fours. That's pretty good shooting and you can re-roll one of them. I have three wounds left. I mean, I need to make, look, no. No, that's that's a dead drone. So the Crisis Commander managed to take down his prey and then the Riptide, firing in SMS, overpowered burst cannon, fired everything down into the unit of Poxwalkers, killing 13 of them. Absolutely brutal firepower. Some small arms went into Damien. He ducked behind the barricade from the Fire Warriors. They didn't manage to hurt him. But now you're going on to Sunstrike. Yep. Trying to take down Damien. Yeah, as always, special gun is blue. Twos. Twos. And threes. And no re-rolls needed. Two four plus invulnerable saves. And I'm going to CP one of them. Six oh dear. Total. Then the other shot ignores invulnerable saves. I might have been able to get some cover, but he has six wounds. And Sunstrike executes Damien. That does leave Storm Shadow, the second in command, nothing to shoot at. But I like to think that they caught Damien in a crossfire mm. and cut him down, trying to save some of their fire warrior kin. Now we're going to be firing into close combat. Fusion, point blank range. Threes. An extra hit. I was just going to miss. There we go. Okay. Threes. With a reroll. Well, at minus four. Finally, you win that fight. They've been battling. That's Keith as well. You've been battling them for some time, <laughs> but you finally took them out. Wait, there's still some more firepower in the castle. There is the plasma team firing up at the drone over there. These are hitting on fours. Fours, re-rolling ones. No explosions at this range. Okay. And then threes threes with that single re-roll. So two at minus four. Two five off and vulnerable saves. And that is two damage. The drone's on seven remaining. So we come round to this flank. You need to kill off that hell brute before you can start throwing shots in at yes. Fluffy. So the Crisis team with all the missile pods are firing at my hell brute, hitting on threes at this range, and fives and sixes explode. And they wound on fours. Rerolling one. Need to make a chunk of five up saves, and the hell brute's on one wound remaining. The hell brute's dead. <laughs> Looking through the camera, I get so confused. That leaves Fluffy exposed, ready for you to do death by firing squad from all the fire warriors. Yeah. Here's the two remaining. So hitting on threes. We'll watch their brothers get slaughtered One, around. Two, him. three, four, five. Brilliant. Yeah. With five, three five shots. Five blade and everything. Yeah. Six is to wound. Five to wound. Five to wound with a single reroll. That's not so good. So don't worry. Through two. He's on two wounds remaining. And now the last thing left to fire is your Cadre Fireblade and the unit of 10. Yeah. So your Cadre Fireblade's going to try and do it. Threes. He's going for the kill shot. Nope. He misses. Considering he's supposed to be so good at shooting, I'm surprised he hits on threes, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, he's better at yelling at other people around him. I get it. He's done plenty. So the Cadre Fireblade orders his Fire Warriors next to him to unleash hell. Threes to hit. Rerolling ones. Fives and sixes explode. These explode because of the Cadre Fireblade and explode because of K-On. So those eight sixes count as 16, 24 hits. Wow. What we have is 20 shots caused 45 hits. It's Fire Warriors with K-On at point blank range. It's beautiful. It's a demon prince. They need it dead. It's okay. You're going to roll everything lower than a five. Four. Everything or lower than even. a... Damn it. I got a lot of saves to make, but I believe in Fluffy ability to die horribly <laughs> when he doesn't make all the saves and that is the end of the tower shooting phase that is the end of turn four we're about to head to turn five to the end game and every single one of my commanders has perished and this objective that i've been pushing towards and pushing towards and pushing towards looks as far away as ever i've got so few units left on the board at least i have a unit of plague marines here that can potentially jump up and poxwalkers don't suffer leadership penalties. And what I'm going to do in turn five is like the dead walk again thing. Mm. I'm going to put, um, I'll, I'll do it now. Because you basically roll. So they don't suffer penalties, so they still take morale? You, they don't take morale. Okay. They're right. zombies. Yeah. But the dead walk again is you roll seven dice. And on threes, I can put some back in. Oh. So three of them will go back in. And then that will make my charge a bit shorter. Yes, I'm going to go charging in. I'm that silly. Um, I don't blame you, frankly. 
<laughs> as we go on to I don't know how it's going to go it's the D3 for killing my warlord but you might still just roll a 1 do you look at where we are now? Do you remember when there was a demon Primarch and a super heavy on the table? I do remember. <laughs> um, it's remarkably, it's remarkable how quickly it goes as you get towards the very end because so much has died. I think we're at a fifteen hundred point game now. <laughs> <laughs> so let's play this fifteen hundred point game to its conclusion in Death Guard Turn Five. Right, I have a plan. <laughs> I've given up on this objective down here. Well done. <laughs> Big handshake all Thank round. You. You've defended that objective. Well done defending yours. With, yeah. I did. Well, I, I there. feel like I spent a lot of um, points just uh, doing nothing over here. But at least it stopped you. It stopped you jumping up and over with all your crisis teams oh, because you knew that if you'd have, yeah, yeah, if I'd have left you a gap, then you could have nailed them and you could have taken that Instead objective I was off of me. Fires over here, so, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So give up that one. So you'll get two points. I should get two points. And then as for taking these objectives, it looks like we're going to be drawn there. So the idea is somehow kill Sunstrike. Now, mm. here we go. I've got a plan. If I kill these three fire warriors, then he's not within three inches of something that blocks him except for another character. Yeah. So this tank can snipe Sunstrike so long as I get rid of those three fire warriors yeah. first so i move the drone round so i can shoot through everyone and kill the fire warriors mm. i also because sunstrike's quite chonky and my tank over there is quite chonky have moved the other tank round so that can pick on sunstrike as well providing uh, those fire warriors are gone yeah for providing the fire warriors are gone and there's a bodyguard here that can tank stuff but it's too far away from sunstrike yeah. close enough to star tide uh storm shadow storm shadow yeah. So Operation Kill Sunstrike is now in effect. And you know what? If we end up on the same number of objectives, it will come down to you rolling a D3 and me rolling a D3. Mm. But first, some of these dominoes must fall. So it's going to start off with that drone over there, which somehow isn't dead and is the only remaining <laughs> drone out of the six that I brought, raining some hate down in and these fire warriors here on threes. And I'm going to wound them on twos and re-roll ones. And it's AP minus three, two damage, they're wiped out. And the Crisis Commander and the Riptide have moved a bit too far away from Sunstrike. So now the tank has got some straight shots into the Tau Commander. Spending one CP on Disgusting Force one more time. So the Mortar does three damage, which means I'm going to roll a one for the number of shots. It's a three. It's a three, it's not a one. That's three times better than it normally is. And I hit all the time. And I wound twice at minus two. No drones nearby. So Four up in burns. Yes. Make him. Okay. He's sunstrike. You can not kill him. Okay. Here comes some entry Tick Tickly <laughs> guns. Two wounds at minus one. Fine. Stop it now. He's sunstrike. And drop down some count. Entropy cannons of doom. Did you know, by the way? There's a guy in the comments in YouTube who keeps mentioning like the drop dice thing and now he's actually doing a tally of who's tally. winning the tally of winning the drop dice competition or not. Ah. How glorious is that? I'm trying to build up the tension. I'm just thinking about drop dice now. Threes. Both of the entropy cannons slam home. Threes again. And it's a plague weapon. Go for it. Two wounds. Two. Four up invulnerable saves. Constant strike. Good lad. Makes one, one fair one. one. You have no CP. have no CP. How many wounds does he get? He has seven. This is D3 plus three. He has a shrug. For five damage. He has five up shrugs. Come on, sun strike. And he oh, takes he five any. wounds. He takes five wounds. He's down to two wounds remaining. Before we get on to tonk number two, let's find out what Disgusting Force does. On a four, your second in command is injured. And on a four, I want this fusion guy dead. He is. He's been a problem. It do worked. Do you remember like turn one when I did that and it killed absolutely nothing? I do. Okay, that so case. Sunstrike is hanging around at the back and is caught in a crossfire by two Plague Burst Crawlers. Mm. Here's the mortar raining up and over for two shots. These mortars have been terrible. They and they both miss. Terrible. This is terrifying. Two entropy cannons. You'll notice, Sultan plays. I haven't used a command point reroll yet. Uh, yeah. Threes really to know. hit. 
They Disney. both slam home. Threes to wound, strong sunstrike. They both wound two, four plus invulnerable saves. Come on, sunstrike. You fail one. No command points. No command points. D3 plus three damage. Sunstrike's on two wounds remaining. And that is six damage. Sunstrike's Five never strikes. been removed from the field of play for the last year. Is Ages, this yeah. the time? All it takes is your entire army to do it. Yeah. <laughs> and my entire army and a tank crossfire and the leader of the Tau has been cut out. Down. Last thing left to fire is going to be these haulers over here, the crawlers, firing into the plasma team because I need them dead because they're perilously close to this objective, which I'm swarming all over. Missiles. Wound on threes. Invulnerable saves. Make one fail one. And that wipes out one of them. These are the melters that are in range. Only two of them hit and only one of them wounds. And, and he, you fail that save yeah. as well. This is D6 damage. There it goes. Wow. It's all coming up Millhouse. That is the end of my shooting phase. Uh, these Plague Marines had to run to get up there. We have a cluster of Tau on their home objective. And only three Tau over here holding on to this objective. And there's going to be a charge coming in. Pox walkers <laughs> against a crisis suit. And... <laughs> no, no, no. Point. Come on, point. Reroll. Six. They'll make the charge. Right, we both double-checked. This is where I end up. Now... You've got three wounds left on a two-up save suit. <laughs> These are pox walkers. However, if I somehow miraculously manage to kill this suit, when I consolidate forward, I can end up tagging that objective with objective secured troops and hopefully they don't all die to a riptide. That's the plan. But in order to kill this suit, I have to spend a CP on the mutant strain. This is my last CP. It gives me 20 attacks. And what happens is ones... Do mortal wounds to me, which I can shrug on sixes, which I don't. And sixes do mortal wounds to you, and I didn't get any. <laughs> any wound on fives? Well, potentially you could roll triple ones. I've done it in the past. Yeah. Two up saves. He tried. He tried. He's still around. But he lives. He'll punch you back. Then he kicks out. And he's a ninja commander. He kicked out and actually killed a couple of pox walkers back. So he's still alive. I am on two objectives. Sultan is currently on. One objective. That is the last action of the Death Guard. Sunstrike has been annihilated. Revenge for Mortarian. He will be back. So now we need to go on to Sultan and the Taos. Turn five and see what the last... I, I just... I, I'm... Ba I, five? Shall we go to five? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so right now it's three points each as we both control two objectives each. Storm Shadow, the second in command. Now the commander of this Tau Force has jumped up to take that objective. And your hero crisis commander is gonna hose some shots into those pox walkers. Not that that matters. Well, it's more if you could fight me and right kill me, you could move onto the objective with mm. sec, so I need to fall back off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It stops me doing any movement shenanigans. You're holding onto that objective round there. Yeah. There is a chance for you to take an objective off of me. Yes. So the Riptide's jumped up and over and overcharged its guns. And then okay. these guys advanced forward as well. I got a very... So the, the plan was if I rolled a six to advance, the plan could go off. And I got right. very lucky and rolled a six to advance. Yes. There's a stratagem called Strike and Fade. After shooting, I can move an extra six inches. If right. These fly. They could jump up there if I kill all of you. Yes. So the idea is to shoot as much guns as you can here. Yeah. I have obsec. So if you do jump up there and there's one guy left, I hold it. Yes. Or if I fail morale and I don't have any CP left. Yeah. But if you shoot as much as you can here, try and take as away as many as possible, then potentially you could steal more objectives than me. So let's go into the town shooting phase. So dominoes must fall. These uh, plague marines must die to start off. The Cadra Fireblade is ordering this unit of Fire Warriors to fire in at the Plague Marines. Hitting on threes because threes, you're using a marker light and we four. Once. Okay. And the sixes explode not because of Kion, but because of the Cadra Fireblade. Yes. So four and the fours and, and fives. Oh no, the fours and fives don't explode for Kion because you've got to be within 12 inch yes. range. So these are wound on fours. Fours. At minus, minus one. one. So you'll get your full save. I'll run one of them. Because I'm in cover. Yeah. Minus one, plus one. So, can you kill any at the start? You do kill one. We're down to six left in that squad. 
Now the Riptide goes bzzz with its big gun of doom. Using a marker light to hit on threes. And you are in 12. And fours, fives and sixes in turn three explode. Oh my emperor. <laughs> and that was 23 hits from a gun that shoots 16 times. Yeah. Threes to wound with the one reroll. With modifiers, I need four up saves. <gasps> one and a half, one, two, just two more. Just two more go. SMS. Three Plague Marines dead so far. Now the missile pots. Threes. Ooh, not so good. Yeah, good. Can save two me. hits back in. Okay. And then threes. And this will be your full uh, armor save. Five to wound, isn't it? Strength five? Strength five. Yeah, strength toughness five. five. So fours, sorry. Fours to wound. Okay. Um, I'm okay. So there's four Plague Marines to go. Remember, he needs to kill them all or fail morale. So these guys are firing in. Dynamic offenses, is that still... So once they fire, they can then move. Right, okay. Yeah. But I decide once they've shot. But you're hitting on four, sorry, because of martial light range and things like yep. that. So fours to hit. k -on is still a thing. So four, fives and sixes are exploding. A hail of missiles thump into the Plague Marines, wounding them on threes. My and, dice are failing me. Oh, they ducked and covered. With four up saves, killing another one and another one and, and, dropping, one. and dropping one down to one wound. And you thought you'd run out of guns, but it doesn't matter about shooting into these poxwalkers because they're just poxwalkers. So the cyclic iron blaster, we got down, we had a look. Look, he can shoot through at the two remaining plague marines. He fell back from combat though, so he's sitting on fives and not in K-on range and only one of the shots slam home. And it wounds. wounds. And Minus two. I make the save. So I think I'm going to have to charge you instead of... Well, you advance so you can't charge, but oh, you yeah. want to move them now because morale is still a thing. Move, shoot, move. Oh, yeah. Crosser suits jump up here. I took them off their bases because wobbly model is a thing. But it ain't over. Mm. You're going to go running along the hill with the Riptide, a yes. nine-inch charge, and try and stomp the Plague Marines to death. Here we go. Nope. And that's a fail charge. No, come on, boys left. So now I need to take a morale test. You lost... Five? I lost five. Their leadership eight. Okay. Oh, they hold. They hold. The Plague Marines hold the central missile silo. Mm -hmm. I get one point, you get one point, you get two points, I get two points. At the end of the game, it is three points each. So as it stands, the battle for the missile silo is a draw. But it was a pitch battle, a 5,000 point battle, a massive battle where two tribes went to war and money was all that you could score. <laughs> it was brutal, but both of our commanders had fallen. So in the great scheme of the narrative, is losing Mortarian as bad as losing Sunstrike or vice versa? Yeah. Should okay. we roll at the same time? Well... I think we should roll at the same time. So you get D3 for Mortarian... I get D3 for Suntrike. So you're looking for high, I'm looking for high. Can I use one of your purple dice? They've been rolling really well. No, I'm probably okay. going to roll one now. You saw how they fell off at the end okay. and they really needed. Okay, so this is the deeper narrative then. Here we go. Good luck, sir. One, Three, two, one. Oh, you rolled a one, I rolled a two. So losing Sunstrike was more critical to the Tau than Mortarian, which actually makes some narrative sense because he'll flash back into the warp and reappear at some point. So it is a one point victory for the Death Guard somehow. And this is the way the world ends. You know, I love that mechanic when you roll at the very end of the game to find out which way it's going to go. That's mm. a Horus Heresy thing as well. Because you just because we could have rolled D3 earlier on. But we don't know. Yeah. And then, so, uh, what happened? <laughs> um, I think twice, towards the end of the game, I just ran out of steam. Ran out of um, steam? Yeah, your guys, um, you weren't making amazing saves at the start, but by the end, the purple dice stopped giving. <laughs> right at the end. Uh, no, I, I had a really good time. Um, it just shows how resilient Death Guard are, that you have so much left yeah. on the table, and so much wasn't even committed. I know. So... Well, um, it also shows how good k -On is towards mm. the end. You know, those, I mean, the Fire Warriors putting down a bajillion shots. These MVPs guys here, putting yeah. down a bajillion shots. But also it shows the resilience of the Death Guard. Like, his gun is a two damage. That Overcooked is a two damage. There's a lot of two damage weapons I would, here. I would have killed, I mean, you've got to think of it as that however many Marines lost, yeah. any other army would have been double. Yeah. So you, the amount I killed this entire game, double it. That's yeah. another army. Those five Plague Marines would have been ten normal Marines. Yeah. And you would have taken that. 
Well, we said at the start of the game, Death Guard are the hard counter to high damage output, which is what these guys are. That's, yeah. And the way to counter Death Guard is to bring as much damage one as you can, because mm. then their special rule doesn't assault cannons, things well, like that. That's why over here, just the, the pulse rifles again and again and again, just you wiped what. out. You blunted the attacker time and time again. Dude. Whereas over here with the higher damage stuff, you helped me. You had 20 shots from some fire warriors. I've got 45 hits. I've got 45 hits. That's a lot K-On, of overlapping buffs. Yeah. With K-On and the Cadre fire. But it's yeah. beautiful to see. It's like, no, hold the schnell, <laughs> fire, Achtung. I don't know why I went German. No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all my World War II movies are coming to my brain now. That was glorious. I had no idea which way it was going to go until the very end. I, I had no other choice as well with the Death Guard other than just launch myself at I you. I think that was the absolute correct decision to make. Um, it, you kept me tied up in my own deployment zone. So anyone watching who says, oh, tower in the deployment zone, he made me stay there. Yeah. <laughs> I had no choice. Well, that's the way you have to play it in missions yeah. like this. You have to push and push and push and then jump out. Yeah. But but if you don't go charging down towards the Tau in their own deployment zone, if you leave them to shoot at you, will Tau have the best guns in the game for a reason? And they well, will just they pound have the one you. One phase, right? One phase, move yeah. Move and shoot. Well, two, two okay, phases, two, yeah, phases. two phases. They phases. can move and shoot, but they're yeah, not very good in the assault, and they're not very good in the psychic phase either. No psychers whatsoever. No psychic whatsoever. Can't even deny. Yes. So that was glorious. Um, we do, if you want to play battles like this at home, I highly recommend that either you use power level or, again, cut down on all the extra overlapping things that armies can do, like buffs and stratagems and wall or traits and things like that. Keep it simple. You'll have so many things to keep in mind anyway. Um, I think I forgot about a dozen rules there as it went on. Oh, no doubt. But um, I'm sure the rules for getting on both sides equaled its way out. And ultimately, what we're here to do at 5,000 points is to have as much fun as possible. Yes, and I got to bring what's left of this. So yeah. I'm quite content. I'm taking these home now. I guess I'll have to leave the body here, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I get to say I killed a towner. That's the first time I've ever done that. Uh, you've only played it twice. Well, it's the first time I've only done it out of two. It's a, it's a 50-50. Ch- I'm a yeah. coin flip at this. Yeah. 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 Would, you say, um, would you say it's worth a thousand points? Uh, well, it hits on threes. And yeah. for Tau, that's really good. Strong. And 30 wounds with a five-up save is really good. So even Warhound Titans and Reaver Titans lose their shields over time. Yeah. But it's more expensive than a Warhound Titan. It's more expensive than a Thunderhawk. Uh, is it a thousand points worth of stuff? It's close to a thousand points yeah. worth of stuff because those. My my gut instinct is saying that should be about eight hundred, but the meta at the moment has shifted down and down and yeah, down because everything's three, got years cheaper. Ago, right? So yeah. from the start of ninth edition, it was definitely worth a thousand. I think points. I'd rather have ten more crisis suits than the town are. You know, because that's you, what it costs. I'll tell you what it is though. Go. It's absolutely cool. It's it's a toddler. It's amazing. It's a real life size small person on the table. It's the Tau Titan. Yes. How long did it take you to paint that bad boy? Two. Only a day. Oh yeah, I forget. Dent you. scheme is really nice and simple. And you're a speed painter extraordinaire. I, I'm trying to shift into more like hardcore painting. Are you? Yeah, I don't know why I call it hard. If I wanted to watch some more hardcore <laughs> painting on the YouTube, so what channel would I pick? Sultan plays. Would I? Yeah. Why? I think you should. Why? Why not Squidma? Uh, well, you know, honestly, you should pick Squidma. <laughs> <laughs> One of us has got a budget and is really character friendly, and then there's me. <laughs> who's, who's not character friendly at all no 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 stay um, away from me yeah, yeah. okay um, so check out Salt and Play's YouTube channel uh, don't forget all this most of this 90% of this lovely towel that you see before you was painted by Den of Imagination Paint Studio it's the great thing painting studio in the soul system the battle mat is from urbanmats.com we really hope you enjoyed that battle report. We really enjoyed that battle report. If you'd like to support me, then consider becoming a channel member. Tier 1 unlocks the emojis and badges. Tier 2, my personal Discord. Tier 3, all of the above, plus tons of extra battle reports. It's the best way to support me. And I want to thank everyone who's already a channel member already. Or subscribes, or likes, or shares, or is generally good people all around. Be a good person. Happy Wargaming. Bye.